Hey everybody, Jim Weller here, and we are live, we are live, and we are alive, alive and live in Dewey Beach, Delaware. So good morning, good morning, good morning to everybody, and it's another edition. We are creeping up on show number, everybody wants to know, show number 500. I forgot when it is now, so it's 493 right now. I think it's going to be seven weeks from now, it's show number 500, and we were going to have a big party, but the show's full. So I don't know, maybe we'll have the party the week after. I don't know if you can do something like that or not. So anyway, uh, good morning to you. We're sitting here live in Dewey Beach, Delaware, right at the Sunrise Restaurant. Sunrise Restaurant, a lot of, uh, a lot of the people here have already had breakfast, and it was really, really, really good. So, um, so I want to let you know, I had a pancake. I did that. I put my bag on. You sure bag. did. That's okay. Uh, sorry about that. That's all right. All right. We got it. So... Um, I guess we're going to take a picture first. This will be the first picture of the second show. Got gotcha. Us. All right. So Linda All right. is doing a good job. Colin, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, what's going on with you? Well, it's busy times at Wall Service Center in Milford. Oh, yeah. You went in the tire business. We are now selling tires and It was like a hand tires. in a glove. It was, yes. You know? Yep. Yep. And, um... I guess, have you sold any yet? Oh, yeah. yeah right, already? Quite a few, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've done some uh, flat repairs. and Really? Yeah, yeah. And what do you do with a flat tire? Do you just turn it around? Well, I, we noticed that they're only flat on the bottom. Right. Yeah, so problem if you turn is them, that flatness keeps moving as you it ride. It does, it does. So, no, so we can uh, we can repair flats. And, okay. Uh, we can replace tires. You know, we put on some 20-inch uh, Michelin's the other day. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Yeah, put some uh, load range E tires on the other day. Okay. So, you know, if you, yep, go ahead. Do you know how to tell how many ply a tire is? It's alphabetical. Oh, yeah, E. Well, e but I is meant A 10, is 2. Right? Yeah, so A is 2. Yeah. B is 4. C is 6. We use a lot of C rated tires in the trailer business. Right. But okay. C, D. But anyway, I didn't know if you knew that every. Letter yeah, I knew that corresponded to something. I knew the E yeah. was 10 ply. So, yep. yeah. So, yep. that would be it. Yeah. So, exactly. what was 10 ply on? Like a work van or something? Yeah. So, it was on like a transit, Ford Transit van. Okay. Big okay. Transit Heavy van. duty, one yeah, ton exactly. chassis. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So, so, you can do them. Yeah, we can do them. And, you know, while we were there, you know, I talked to the guy. Actually, it was Ryan Brower. Okay. And uh, he said, you know what? I'm just going to start bringing my vans for you for everything. We're for just everything. Gonna, do Just all make of life simple. There. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so well, I and that way that. you'll have all his records. He can access them anytime he wants. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, I think you know it's you know a complete package. People yeah. like that. So. I think he liked it. You know, because we we texted him the day before to remind him and said you know hey That's here's a great your idea. He confirmed it. We can even send like a text to pay. So if you, if you're going to be there after hours, or if okay, you just don't, yeah. if you just need to run in and grab your keys and go. Right. You can you know, do without it. a lot of time spent just at the pay on desk. the run. Exactly. You can just do it at your convenience. We can send you a link to pay. So once they card. pay, the key will work. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, my. Right. So I, I got another crazy question for sure. you. Sure. Yeah. What's that? You're not wearing a hat as much. I'm not. No. What's up with that? I've, Is this some? Um, no, I just have you got, got a, a hairstyle? I got a haircut. You're mm. promoting? No. <laughs> I just okay. got a haircut. And okay. so. Somebody I, yesterday I was wondering. How'd you have such a full head of hair? Oh, yeah. Nice butch. And thick. Yeah, it was yeah. butch. So I was like, <laughs> right. you yeah. thought I was wearing a toupee. <laughs> he did. Yep. <laughs> then thought we found I wore out. a hat because I didn't have any hair. Right. And then we found out Denny normally does wear a toupee. Oh, does he? So okay. he didn't have it with him yesterday. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, Colin's mm -hmm. not wearing a hat as much. Right. Uh, Wall Service Center selling this is tires. Big news. <laughs> big news. These are all, <laughs> big the, news. all the big news all events. All the pertinent things. That's you right. Know. So uh, downtown Milford opened yeah. Monday through Friday. That's right. Lots of amenities around us. So if you want to bring your car, have it serviced, or even have tires put on, you know, putting tires on is about an hour job or so, okay. depending on the vehicle. Could be less, could be more. Um, but uh, but there's plenty to do around us. Uh, you can, you know, get lots of restaurants. Surf Bagel's right next door to us. Yeah. So. Have you been there yet? Oh, yeah. What's it like? Uh, it's good. Really it's good. It's good? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, good. Can you sit down in there? And you sure can. They've got, a, okay. they've got a... Big place, probably one of their biggest places to be able okay. to sit down. Okay. Yeah, of all their their spots. All their so spots. That's, yeah, that's the the uh, large surf bagel there. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, their bagels are well. Really it's good big enough everything. for two counties. Yes, that's right. In other words, because in Milford, twin counties. Yeah. Yep. So it is right. only on one side though. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, but anyway, we've got the river walk. We've got uh, coffee shops downtown. We've got bakeries. Uh, 
restaurants. You can get produce across the street? Yeah, you can. That's right. What's that? Gigante? Yep. I yep. say it close to right? Yeah, close enough. That's close the English enough. way to say it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, that's what the Amish call me, an Englishman. Yeah. All right. So anything else going an on? An English teacher wouldn't call you English, though. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're on the radio, Jim. All right. So I'll thank see you, later. you. All right. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are on the radio. Lawrence is at the controls. Thank you, Lawrence, very much for turning us on and making everything work. We are sitting inside of a restaurant called Sunrise Restaurant right in Dewey Beach. There's a there's some seats available. In other words, I want to let you know there's some room here. Uh, the breakfast, man, it comes out quick, quick, quick. So uh, the bacon is nice and crispy, and it was nice and warm. Um, I got a pancake. Uh, they have syrup. They have sugar-free, and they have regular syrup. They have butter. It's the coolest little containers. I've never seen it this way before. So um, they're all at all the tables. In other words, you don't have to wait for it and ask three times and all that kind of stuff. I've never seen it in them little containers. So this is just a real up uptown, you know, well, it is uptown. It's on the other end of town. So anyway, it's Sunrise Restaurant. Please come join us. We're going to have some giveaways, too. So if you want to come and hang out with us, we do it between 830 and 9, and you do need to be present to win, okay? But we have some giveaways, and today we have some giveaways, at least three, maybe four, maybe five. We get carried away now and then. So you come in, you look for a lady named Guada, and if you don't find her, she'll find you. Put your name on a slip of paper. Everybody's eligible to enter. And then maybe, maybe, maybe you'll get lucky and win something. So here comes a customer across the street. Looks like the mail lady. She looks like she's bringing mail, but I'm not sure. But she's dressed for the cold, cool weather. And if a rainstorm breaks out, she's ready. All right, my first guest. Oh, no, I have to do a commercial, by golly. Linda, I almost need you to chime in on this, but I won't. I was going to talk about Dawn Kennedy. Uh, but uh, So anyway, this is a sponsor segment. Sponsor segment. I have not been looking at the cameras, I realize. This is a sponsor segment, and it is for Abby there, Cleaning and Care, Dawn Kennedy. So, we've been talking about her for weeks. She does cleaning. I use her whenever I have a tenant move out of a house, another one move in. But I've got some friends that use her. And uh, if you own a business and you want your showroom cleaned or your office is clean, she could do it regularly or she could do it once a year or four times a year or whatever. Linda Bosco just recently decided to have her clean her house. And um, she uh, just wanted to take a day off and let Dawn do it. So that's what you do. So if you want some help cleaning your house or if you want it done once a year or four times a year or once a month or week, Dawn Kennedy does all kinds of cleaning. She also does Airbnbs and the VRBO, vacation rental, I don't know what it means. VRBO, I forgot what it even means. Vacation rent by owner. I knew I had it written down. VRBO, Airbnb. Um, if you have a travel trailer or you have a motor home and you want somebody to come in and just clean the inside of that thing, she can get it done. So anyway, her name is Dawn. Uh, they actually named some products after her in life. Once Dawn was born, some other products started coming along. So anyway, Dawn Kennedy. Dawn Kennedy is her name. If you're in the military, first responder, or you know, um, a police or anything like that, uh, or a senior citizen, she gives you discounts for that. I'll soon be a senior citizen. That's uh, 50 years old, is that right? No, 65. 50 years old is your first, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get into it. Anyway, um, so I'm just saying that I'll soon be a senior citizen and I'll be eligible for a discount. So it's, I'll be there cleaning and care, Dawn Kennedy, Dawn Kennedy, okay? It's that simple. Give her a call, 302-362-7064, 362 7064 I've been happy with her. I think you will be too. Estimates are free. She's licensed. She's insured. Give her a call and look at her Facebook page. I'll be there cleaning and care. If you would, throughout the show, we're going to name some different uh, sponsors of the show. Like their Facebook page if you would too, okay? All right. What else is going on? What else is going on? Um, we have somebody here from the uh, Georgetown Fire Department, and we're going to talk about the big is it the big oyster eat? Is that what we call it? It is. It's the oyster eat for the year. And yes, what's, what's your name? Kim Hall. Kim Hall. All right. Are you Mr. and Mrs. Hall's daughter? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Oh, we have to get a picture here. Uh, all right. Good answer. All right. So how long have you been involved with the Georgetown Fire Department? I've been a member for um, this year will be my 11th year. So 10 11th years. 11th year. Yep, really? So wow. 
You had 20. to have been a young lady when you started. Yeah, I was 20. 20, really? About, yeah, okay. 1920. And what inspired you to get involved with the fire department? My uncles, my uncle and my cousin have been in the fire company forever. Okay. I was always around them when I was little and then... Just being around Georgetown, knowing everybody in the fire company, I want to do something for my community. Well, I appreciate it. I, I think all fire companies are, you know, needing more people to get we involved, yes. in other words. And um, so I want to throw that out there. If you ever wanted to be involved with the fire department, uh, now's a good time, okay? Everybody can sign up. So, it is. Um, so we got an oyster eat coming up. Yes, it's the 86th annual. We skipped four years because of the war. So we started in 1933, I believe. Really? It was. Yep. Look, look at 1933. How fast she's doing the math. 1933 was the first one um, that we had. We've been doing it for 86 years. Only missed the four Golly years. Holy day. Yeah. It's wow. a lot. A lot has changed over the years. We we want to thank. We have had a lot of sponsors that have helped us do everything. Good. And you got well, some of them you want to mention, or is I it, don't. I don't want to because we've had. Because you'll of, miss one. I will miss one. And I don't want yep. to do that. And we've had a lot of new ones come on this year. So you've had a good support, a good turnout. We have a good turnout from the. From everybody doing sponsorships and even the community helping us, um, like the membership helping us put it on because it takes a lot of the members to do it. It takes it a lot of people to do it. Because like a thousand people show up to this. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of people and it's a lot of getting people in and out and making sure everything runs smoothly. So what would we expect if we have never been to the Oyster Eat? What would we expect? Okay, so is there food? There is food. There's raw oysters. There's a raw oyster bar. There is obviously steam oysters. They come out every seven minutes. So every seven minutes, oh, they're nice and you hot. will hear somebody yelling hot stuff running. There'll be six people running across to the tables yelling okay. hot stuff because they hold them above their head. So you sit down and everything comes to you pretty yep, much. Yep, everything comes to you. You have to go get the, um, the hot dogs, the egg salad sandwiches. Oh, there's hot dogs? And and popcorn. And popcorn. It's the best part of the night's popcorn. Is there any uh, adult beverages? Oh, yes, beer. Plenty Is that beer. included with your ticket? Yes. $40 gets you the raw oysters, steamed oysters, hot dogs, egg salad sandwiches, all you can eat. How about the drinking? Oh, you can drink. I haven't drank since I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> there's two, and we have two bars, so there's two one. Bars, there's really? we call it the old bar. So I won't be waiting walk, around long. Nope, you will not. Okay. It'll, be, it'll be ready on the table for you when you walk in. All right, when is this? It is next Friday, the twenty fourth. Next Friday, yes. this coming Friday. This coming Friday. Okay, and are, are there tickets still available? Yes, there's tickets available online. Um, all you have to do is go along and put your order in. It will, um, they would be at will call for you. So you put, I actually do the online tickets. Okay. So they'll be at will call for you at the door. And, or, okay, and you can so always buy them at the Where door do you too. go online? Uh, GeorgetownFireCompany.com. All right. And there's a link right there. Okay. And there will also be uh, gun raffle tickets for sale. Oh, um, what kind of gun do door. you know? It is a, a shotgun or a it's pistol? It's a shotgun. It's okay. a semi auto shotgun, 12 gauge. 12 gauge, okay. Brown and silver mat. Really? Yeah. All right, so they're raffling that off. We're raffling that off. I okay. believe we do it at 10 o'clock. Okay. And there's also an oyster knife that was. Um, oh, yeah. Somebody told me this is one of the nicest knives they've ever seen. It is. I really like it. I we actually have somewhere. pictures on our Facebook page of it. Um, this is like a collector's item. It is. A lot of people, a lot. How much might this go for? $100? Oh, more than that. Probably a thousand? A couple thousand, yeah. couple thousand. Alan okay. Baker has bought the knives in the past for a couple thousand dollars. Really? <laughs> yep, they go. They're a high commodity. Um, this one is. There's only one. There's only one a year. Okay. And it's hand. Um, it's handmade? by handmade Neil Green makes it. Um, this year, actually, we have pictures on our Facebook page. It has um, it's a plaque that was made by Rocky Green from his grandfather's barn. Um, he was a vet, and he did the first ox roast on the circle. Really? And there's a decoy that was um, there's a decoy on there as well. Um, and that Rocky put on there as well. So this is not a knife somebody's going to use. This no. is something you're going to put up you, on the mantle. You, you can, but they also have a magnet on it, so you can take the knife off and show it oh, off. Okay. So it's really? a very nice knife set. It's bragging year. rights. It's bragging rights. Is it's what it bragging is. rights, okay? <laughs> this is something I should be looking at, okay? <laughs> it's very nice. We do it around um, everything around 10, 11 o'clock. Okay. And um, Dave Wilson does the auction for us, so does it's very it really? nice. Yep. He comes in and does the auction for us. Gosh, this is going to be a lot of fun, isn't it? It is. It's always fun. Okay. Is there any T-shirts for sale? One, there one is, time there was T-shirts. There is T-shirts. We do T-shirts every year. Um, most of the time we honor older members that are, have helped us. And this year we have T-shirts too. No kidding. Yep. How much are they? 20 bucks? I don't, don't know. know. We haven't Either had way, that yet. they're for sale. <laughs> they're for sale. They'll be there that night. It'll be tax-free shopping for yes. the T-shirts. How about that? <laughs> 
We, all right, so um, so forty dollars. Whether you get them at the door or get them yep. online, or is it more at the door? Uh, they're the same at the door, and the okay. gun raffles are one for five and three for ten. Okay. And you get them and, there as well. All right, so if you can't make it, can you buy tickets and give them away? You can. Yep. Okay. Do people do that? Yep. Okay. We have plenty that that buy them for their friends and all that. And give them out. And give them out. Okay. So it's a lot of fun. It is. I huh. have fun. I work it all night, but I have fun working it because everybody okay. that's there. Wow, this is a big event, and it's a fundraiser, isn't it? it is. the, it's their main fundraiser it's our, for the year. It's isn't our it? main fundraiser for the year, yes. Okay. It's the our main. It's the one of the only ones that we do now. Okay. Because it just takes so much time and effort to put it together. Okay. We did, we're doing a golf tournament, I believe, again this year as well, but that would be in late September. Who was it that wanted to call in? Uh, Michael Briggs. Should we just call Michael and make sure we he, didn't miss anything? I think he. I think he'll trust me enough. Okay. That I did it. He hasn't texted <laughs> me. He hasn't texted me yet, telling me to tell me, say something. So I think I'm good. Okay. Well, I think you've done a good job. Has it been nervous for you? Yeah, kind of. Really? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Have you ever been to Dewey Beach before? Oh yeah. Plenty, oh, okay. Plenty. Oh plenty. Oh okay. All right. All right. So anyway, um, anything else? So this is the Georgetown Fire Company. I believe it's the 86. 86. Would it technically be the 90? Technically, if we didn't skip four years because of the war, okay, it would be. Okay, okay. So um, if it was up to them, it would have been 90 yes. times. If we could have done it, they would have done it. Mm-hmm. So isn't it amazing, you know, how in, in life, you know, they had to stop something for the war because a lot of people were off to war, you know. So, um, all right. Is there anything else we need to know? Linda's asking questions. Um, just if you want to volunteer with your fire company, we do need a lot of help. Just get out there. Go to your local fire company. Put anytime. Application. Like if anytime. you want to volunteer, anytime. you can walk through the front door and say, I'd like to talk about volunteering. Yes, we need it. Is there always somebody at the firehouse? There, um, not not in the middle of the night. Or there nothing, is. But... Um, most of the time we have people up there all year okay. long, like all day long. Um, not as much because we actually don't have an ambulance, so we're not staffed. Oh, really? Like other firehouses. Yeah, we're the only one that doesn't, one of two that don't have ambulances. Really? So it's all volunteer. Because the American Legion Ambulance yep, cause, Company cause takes care of 93 takes care of that. Wow. I we guess act, that's a little bit of a load off you. It is um, to an extent. We still help them out, obviously, for medicals, like anything mm -hmm. that they need that they call us, we go. But we're one of two that. So. And I want to encourage you, if you don't want to join a fire department, consider donating to them. In other words, they do a lot of work. They're the ones that are coming at you as you're running out. And uh, they, they do a lot of good in our community. So uh, never enough equipment. There's always something else they could use and uh, make use of. All right. Is there anything else? I think that's it. Okay. I have some gifts for you. Can I give you a gift? That's fine. Okay. You seem nervous. You seem like, I just want to get in my car. There's a keychain for you. Do you ever eat at Chick-fil-A? Yes. Okay. So if I gave you a couple gift cards, would you use them? Yes. Okay. I don't know what Chick-fil-A it says on the back, but this is good at all Chick-fil-A's, okay? okay? Now, how about ice cream? Have you ever had, are you an ice cream eater? Every day. Oh, every day. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that a requirement to be in the fire department? No, I just, oh. I just love ice cream. Okay. Well, there's a couple gift cards to Vanderwinds. You heard of them? Yes. Okay. My favorite one. All right. Well, there you go. Your favorite one. All right. Anything else? I believe that's it. All right. Well, have a good day and thank you for you coming. You too. Thank okay? you. Thank you. See ya. All right. Bye-bye. All right, so there it is. Mark your calendar. It's next Friday. It's not far away. All right, so we're sitting right inside. Where are we again? We are at Sunrise Restaurant, and we're down here in Dewey Beach, Delaware. Weller does Dewey. We're going to have some giveaways throughout the morning, so you need to stay till 9 o'clock because we're going to put your name in a basket, and we're going to draw some names. So if you want to come down and have breakfast, feel free to hang out till 9 o'clock. There is a group of people here. If you own a business and you want to meet some new people, or if you're just new to the area and you want to make some new friends, you literally can come in here and make some new friends, okay? And if you want to really be popular, come in and just offer to buy everybody's breakfast, okay? So uh, you'll really make some friends then. So anyway, we're at Sunrise Restaurant. The food is good. And whether you want breakfast or lunch, Robbie will cook you whatever you want either way, okay? All right, what else is going on? I'd like to do a couple sponsor segments. One of them is, of course, my friends at Fitzgerald's Salvage and Recycling. Fitzgerald's Salvage and Recycling. And that is in Lincoln City, Delaware. Uh, there's a lot of good businesses have started in Lincoln. And Fitzgerald's actually started it all. They've been there 80-some years. They started in 1935. 
that's a long time ago, you know. And uh, Karen Fitzgerald and her two sons, uh, John and Scott, and her daughter Kim, they all run the company and uh, they do a good job. They're very honest, they're very fair. But what does Fitzgerald's do? Okay, so they recycle things. So, in other words, like if you have some metal, some junk metal, um, you can go ahead and uh, just take it there, and they will literally buy it from you. They buy it by weight. You pull on this scale, and they weigh it, and you go back and unload and weigh again, and they pay you for what, what was in the vehicle or on the vehicle or on the trailer. Another thing, let's say you have a car, like a junk car in your yard, and you want to get rid of it. They will literally buy your car. They will come and pick it up and take it and go ahead and um, pay you for it. I had somebody tell me they, they actually just sold a car there recently, and uh, they drove it there and then just left it. And I uh, was very, very, very pleased with what they got. I think I think he got two or $300 for a junk car. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that Fitzgerald's buy scrap metal. Now, the other thing they do is they sell things. So what do they sell? They sell auto parts. How do they get them? From the cars that they buy. So I'm just letting you know that if you need a part, like a fender or a hood, or somebody's bumped into you, or you got a bumper where you backed into the tongue of your trailer and bent your nice chrome bumper and you want another one, um, they've got bumpers. They've got everything. So I'm just letting you know, if you need any car parts, they can help you out there, you know, with car parts. So it's Fitzgerald's Salvage and Recycling. They're very environmentally conscious, very, men, you know, they, they do it right. But the other thing that they do is they sell crushed concrete. You know, and people don't even know what crushed concrete is. But, like, if you were to be buying a new shed or a carport and you didn't want to pour a concrete pad, but you wanted a nice, solid surface, you can buy crushed concrete. You're right, crushed concrete. So, anyway, if you want any crushed concrete, they sell crushed concrete, okay? So, you can pick it up or you can hire somebody to haul it or whatever. They don't deliver it or anything like that. So, anyway, it's Fitzgerald's Salvage and Recycling. Open today, open six days a week, 302-422-7584, 302-422-7584, website is Fitzgeralds.us, and on the website, on the Facebook, um, you also can look them up there, and they're good people. And they want to just remind you that Fitzgeralds does recycle cars, but only Jesus recycles people, Okay. That has been a good slogan for years and years and years and years. Okay, anybody want to have Coco with the Popo? Okay, that is a today only offer, all right? Coco with the Popo. Now, where is this? It's in Delaware. It's in the town of Greenwood, Delaware. So they are giving you the opportunity to meet and greet their newly expanded police department. Okay, so stop by. They're going to have cocoa, coffee, and muffins. Everybody likes muffins. All right, so that is today and today only at Greenwood Town Hall from 9 to noon. So, Janet, I hope you're listening because I did mention this. All right, I'll do it again just for the heck of it. So um, this is kind of nice. I, I forgot the police chief's name. Was it Stanley? I can't remember. Anyway, he's a real good guy. So the Greenwood police, I've met them. They're, they're good people, and it's a nice town, and I've got some properties there, and they're growing, and I like it. So what else is going on today? Wellers will be open. I see Mike Sando pulled up. Anyway, we're going to talk with him in just a little bit. Vanderwind's Farm Creamery, as you heard from the young lady that was on, what is her favorite ice cream? Vanderwind's. Whose favorite ice cream is Vanderwind's? Anybody in the room like Vanderwind's? Okay, there we go. So if you want some ice cream, Vanderwind's is the place. In fact, let's do this now. Let's get this out of the way. It's an uncomfortable thing. Is there anybody in the room that would like a free gift card to Vanderwins? Anybody in this room that would like a free gift card to Vanderwins? Jim Martin, just one person? Oh, it's only one? Oh, okay. All right, how many? Jim Martin. Who else is there? Anybody else? Sandy? All right, Nancy? All right. Anybody else want a free gift card to Vanderwind's? Last call. Nobody else? All right, Denny. Denny had two hands up. All right. Oh, I'll give you one. Did you get a haircut? Look at that shine he's got going on. Folks, you can't see what's going on in the room, but uh, we ought to pan the room sometime. But anyway, um, they didn't all sign waivers, so I don't know. Anyway, but I'm just letting you know. Anybody else want a gift card to Vanderwind's? All right, that's it. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Okay, so that's how you give away Vanderwind's gift cards. It's very difficult, okay? So I guess we should go out in the road and flag people down. So Vanderwind's is a good sponsor of the show. Thank you to the Vanderwind family. We appreciate you. So um, I guess we ought to open up the phone lines in case there's anybody out there 
that wants to pick one up at Weller's. Are you watching? Are you listening? If you would like to pick up a Vanderwoods gift card at Weller's, um, you can do that by calling me right now. Call the number on your screen. Oh, you're listening on the radio and there's no number? It's 302-422-7336. Dial it in that order. I'll answer the phone, and then I'll put your name on the list, and you can pick up a gift card at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday through Saturday, to Vanderwind's Ice Cream, okay? And if you ever go, Debbie Short, we need you to wave. Just wave to the cameras. So that's Debbie Short. It's her little boy, Robbie, that owns this place. And she's a very proud mama, aren't you? Yep, and he worked here since he was a youngin. And then he bought the business. All right. Was that a phone call? Caller, are you there? Yes. And how you doing today? Pretty good. Are you watching you? on TV, radio? TV. All right. Channel 14 or 16? 14. Oh, 14. Okay. I'm just checking. <laughs> Colin is like, have I got another frequency? No, anyway. All right, so Channel 14, whereabouts are you? Bridgeville. Bridgeville, all right. And what is your name? Kenny Elliott. Kenny Elliott. Kenny, is this your first time calling? Uh, it's been quite a while. Wow, I thought so. All right, well, anyway, I'll put you down for a gift card to Vanderwoods. Do you even go to Vanderwoods? You ever been? Yes, sir. Okay, and what's your favorite flavor? Black cherry. Black cherry, okay. And do you get like a little cup or do you get a cone? Cup. Cup. Bridgeville, and he's watching on TV, Channel 14. Channel 14. All right, well, we thank you very much, Kenny. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, well, there we go. There's Kenny, first winner. One Vanderwood's gift card. We'll be waiting for him next week at Weller's. Anybody else want to call? 302-422-7336. 422-7336. Give a call. And I will put your name on the list for a gift card to Vanderwinds. And um, that's where we're at. And we're sitting inside Sunrise Restaurant. We got to see Debbie. Debbie is very proud of her little boy, Robbie, because Robbie has now grown up. He's a young man. And he actually owns the Sunrise Restaurant right here in Dewey Beach. They got subs. They got sandwiches, beverages, free ice with all beverages, free ice, okay, except with the hot ones. But anyway, French fries, salads. He's got omelets, he's got bacon, he's got a little bit of everything, okay? Cream, chip, beef over toast, chicken breast and cheese omelets, steak and eggs. What did he tell us? It was an eight-ounce steak, rib steak ribeye. An eight-ounce ribeye steak and eggs. They are the cat's meow. I think that's one of Kevin Short's favorites. So anyway, at Sunrise Restaurant, if you can't make it this morning, hey, they're open six days a week. They're only closed on Tuesdays, and I think they're open from 7 to 2 or something like that. So anyway, uh, breakfast and lunch, and you can get lunch at breakfast, or you can get breakfast at lunch. So that's where we're at. All right, we're going to have a lot of giveaways here today. Not a lot, but we're going to have some. But that will be between 8.30 and 9. Uh, we gave away a Vanderwood's gift card already. So if you want to call in, it's 302-422-7336. At the bottom of the hour, we take a break from the radio. So we need our radio audience to switch over to TV Delmarva. We don't want you to miss a thing. Wilson's Auction having a big sale today. Big sale today. Denise, we ought to swing by there maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll see how our time goes. But anyway, they're having a lot of things today right there on Route 113 in Lincoln. It'll go all day and into the afternoon and into the evening. So if you want something to do today, and it's nice and warm inside there. So um, if you want something to do today or tonight, uh, swing by Wilson's Auction in Lincoln. Then they got a big Mid-Atlantic Spring uh, equipment auction coming up. This is huge. It'll be March 18th, so mark that down. Soon they'll be taking consignments and so on. For that, that's over at the Harrington Fairgrounds or the Delaware State Fairgrounds. But anyway, um, another thing is Tuesday nights, they have an auto auction, an auto auction on Tuesday nights, so that's at 6 o'clock if you want to buy a car, sell a car. But today it all starts at 10 o'clock, and if you ever want to sell something, whether it's property or stuff, Wilson's Auction will get it sold for you. 302-422-3454, wilsonsauction.com, and like them on Facebook. Taking a break from the radio. Switch over to TV Delmarva right now. All right, what else is going on? Oh, Kevin Short has arrived. Everybody, please stand and salute. <laughs> Kevin is here. So, Colin, how are you? Good, Jim. I'm back. Oh, now, my goodness. You are amazed by these right here, but I, I find it hard to believe you've never seen butter in a package. Like I don't this know that as I many have, restaurants as you've been to. I know it, but um, 
maybe I have had a senior moment and <laughs> forgot and forgot. Okay. So anyway, um, but yes, they are amazing. They are amazing. Yeah. They are amazing. Yeah. So now look at that shot there. That's another shot. Yeah. yeah. So this is, I've got it propped Which up. Which side on of my the, head's got the most I've, moles on it? <laughs> I've got it propped um, up on the Splenda Bowl over there. Oh, so, really? Yes. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. So anyway. Well, very good. Yeah. Oh. But, all right. So. We're going to talk what about TV Delmarva, Jim. Okay, I think it's good. Yeah, it's good down here. Yep. It's really good. Yep. There's a few seats left. There's a few, yeah. A few. We'll, turn them, we'll start kicking people out for a long Okay. Time. Well, they got to be here till 9 to win. Oh, okay. To be eligible to win. Okay. Okay. All right. What do we got? TV Delmarva. TV Delmarva, Channel 14. So point your antenna towards Seaford. Okay. Rescan. Look for Channel 14. You'll see seven channels come up, Jim. Okay. Seven channels. Have so you got them memorized? I do. Yeah. 14.1. I've got them written right here in okay. case I forget. 14.1 right. is uh, okay. TV Delmarva, Channel 14. We can talk about our primary target audience, too. All right. So, let's do that. Uh, our primary target audience for TV Delmarva, 14.1, is adults. 25 to 54 years of age. Okay. Now, anybody is allowed to watch it. So if you're under 25 or over 54, you still... You are allowed to TV watch it. Your TV will not know that. Exactly. Okay. So, but that okay. is the tar for advertisers. They like to know, you know, who's yeah, your target right. audience. Who's your audience, right. Exactly. So, uh, you know, and we do... This is where we do all of our local events, you know, okay. any, the live parade, parade, your show, right. uh, local shows, you know, Yodeling those, contests. Yeah, that's We're waiting for that. One. Right. <laughs> uh, but you know, we've got shows that you've heard of on there. We've got the impractical jokers, world poker tour, uh, forensic files and lots of other movies and well, lots and, of and things like that. Exactly. Okay. Uh, 14, family friendly program. Yep. 14.2 is Newsnet. That's a 24 hour news channel. Uh, and our target target audience for that is 25 to 54. Okay. Uh, on that, and it's it's uh, it's actually uh, skews more female. Okay. Uh, too in that uh, retro TV 14.3, that's 35 to 64 plus years of age for okay. our target audience. Um, so if you're looking for the older audience, uh, so what was that income, age? 64 or 65? 64 plus 35 okay. to 64 plus. Okay. Because when I turn 65, will I still be able to watch? You it? can still watch it. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm just yep. checking. Yeah. So 21 Jump Street. Will I get a senior bed, discount? Got, yes. Yeah, okay. It'll be free. It's all free. We'll give you 50 percent off of the free. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, lots of uh, movies and shows you've heard of on that. The uh, you know retro shows, of course. And then we've got. Uh, fourteen four. That's Weather First Delmarva. Okay. So this is our own that's channel. Important. We one hundred percent program mm -hmm. that ourselves, and this is for adults eighteen to sixty four plus. So this covers everybody because weather is important to everybody. Every everybody day. cares about weather every day. Yeah, every exactly. day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It so, doesn't uh, go stale. Exactly. Yeah. So current conditions on there. We've got current conditions at play all the time on there. Uh, fourteen point five O A M plus One American News. Our target audience is men, 35 to 54 years of age, uh, and it's a uh, kind of a conservative news and opinion channel wow. there. And I don't this have the nice. last two pages. This is nice, though. Somebody has yeah. a business, and, and you go and talk to them, and they say, you say, well, what, what audience are you after? Exactly, in other words, yes. You know, yeah. um, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, and, and we can we can kind of you know, say, Targeted. hey, you know, this, this will be a good one for you here. You know, of course, all of them. I want, I want everybody to... Well, that's this, the this, works package. But there are some some people that are, you know, everybody has a car. All age groups, yes. of course, over 18 have cars and females and males and all that. But uh, some products are more specific to a targeted gender Correct. and age Correct. and and that. So, uh, like your trailers, trailers. Right. right. Probably and more if I owned a hair salon, that would be a different audience. That would be a different audience, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That would be good okay. if you owned a hair salon, Jim. <laughs> I could see me owning a wig store. <laughs> yeah. A wig and a hat store before I uh, owned a hair salon. <laughs> yeah. I'll have Chuck and Mike over and there selling butter. wigs. Butter. And butter. Selling these little cups. Now that butter's going to melt <laughs> over in this corner. can't believe this is the first day you've ever I seen I think it these, might Jim. be, but I don't know. I don't get out much. 65 years old almost. Yeah, almost. I don't get out much. <laughs> I don't get out much. Golly uh, day. So, nice crowd today. It is a good crowd. The sun yeah. is shining. Yep. yep. They all look pretty well behaved. So pretty well behaved. Yep. Okay. Everybody's acting all right. Uh huh. Yep. yep. Linda's the enforcer over here, though. So yeah. She'll, uh, uh, we got Sam. He'll keep them all that's straight. Right. Yeah. Sam's Sam sport <laughs> nice hairdo there. He is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, but Let's anyway, see, uh, Jim um, Martin is here. Jim Martin is here. I think we're Jim, how you doing? Getting into the Do More Twenty Four season. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. So yeah, Jim got... Martin's is on March fourth, and uh, everybody else is on March second. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> no. messing. I'm just messing. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, do more twenty four, big yeah. thing, and and you know, there's a few people in this building that 
really have done a good job with Do More 24. Uh, yes, definitely. People to be proud yeah. of. Yep, yep. yep. So. They've worked it really hard, and, and I mean, um, you know, and, and well deserved. Yep, exactly. Yeah. I would agree. So I would agree we had a that. caller uh, watching on TV yeah. from Bridgeville. Yep. It was pretty good. That's good. He yep. knew exactly where he was watching. Yes. I yeah. have sometimes people on radio, they'll say, Oh, I heard you here and I heard you there. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and you're just not even where they said. But right. the point is they heard me on radio. They heard or you. Or they saw me on TV. Exactly. I have that, too. Yeah. Where people said they saw me here and saw me there. But I'm very happy advertising with you, so um, don't change well, a thing. You. Just okay. keep adding channels. Yeah, just right. Keep, yeah, just keep doing uh, that. Yeah. I mean, if, if the more we have, the more opportunities for people to see your for products. Everybody. and your Yeah. Yep. yep. So. so. All, All right, right, Jim. I'm going to open the phone lines All real right, quick. All right, open them up. We're not right, back on the radio, are we? No. Okay. So I just want to say that if you'd like to call in and get a Vanderwood's gift card from me, uh, it'll be waiting for you at Weller's in Bridgeville next week, Tuesday, Tuesday through Saturday. Is it'll be waiting. So if you want to win or have, you don't even have to win it. You just have to call in 302-422-7336. 302-422-7336. Okay. If you want one, call me right now. We're getting ready to go live on the radio. Uh, live on the radio, I'm going to talk about Jerry Santoro real quick. So, Jim Weller here. You're watching and listening to the Weller Does Del Marva show. We are live on location. We are unraveling by the minute. That's the way I promote it. We are unraveling by the minute. So, anyway, um, we're having breakfast here at the um, Sunrise Restaurant down here in Dewey. And I want to brag on one of my sponsors. This is a friend of mine, Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. And uh, he's been advertising with me or supporting the show for years. And I want to say thank you, Jerry, if you're listening. Thank you very much. We appreciate your support and your friendship. But if you're debating who's going to do your lawn care next year, consider Jerry. If you happen to need any firewood, consider Jerry. If you think you're going to need some mulch, consider Jerry. If you have some trees that need to be trimmed up or cut down or stumps dug up or ground up, consider Jerry. If you need any pavers, I would recommend considering Jerry. If you need an irrigation system, I would recommend considering Jerry. So it's all about Jerry today. Jerry Santoro, Jerry's Lawn Care. Consider Jerry. If you've got a project and you don't even know if Jerry does it, okay, lot clearing, land clearing, whatever it may be, you give Jerry a call. He's licensed. He's insured. Estimates are free. All you need to do is give him a call and say, Jerry, I've got this project, whether it's for your home, whether it's for your business, whether it's for the farm, whether you're a contractor. If you need Jerry, give Jerry a call. How do you call Jerry? On the telephone, 302-363-6025. Now, it works best if you dial it in that exact order, 302-363-6025, and say, Hey, Jerry, Jim said, and that's all it takes. Hey, Jerry. So anyway, give him a call, website, jlc-llc.com, and it's Jerry's Lawn and Tree Care on the Facebook. It's a good one, to, it's a good one to, to, to like because he's always posting pictures of projects that he's doing. All right, Mike Sando has arrived. He came in this morning. Mike is the assistant manager at Wellers in Bridgeville, and I think we're supposed to take a picture. All right, so he works hand-in-hand, side-by-side with Chuck. So Chuck and Mike make the magic happen at Wellers in Bridgeville. And we've been busy with lots of things. I kept this note all this time. So, uh, Mike, good morning. Good morning. What do you think of the place? Awesome. Yeah. Great sunrise, appropriately yeah. named restaurant. Yeah, it's it was kind beautiful, of cozy. Beautiful ride coming in. Yeah, it, it was. I was here early today. So, anyway, Mike, um, what do we got going on at Wellers? Anything in particular you want to uh, hit on? We have a lot of things going on. Uh we enjoyed some nice weather last week. Yes. Or this past week. And um, and now it's February. It's February, but it's yeah. still nice. But anyway, um, a lot of carport activity, a lot of Amish built shed activity. Um, we have some trailers on sale this week that are in, that's ending today. Oh, but, that's uh, right. There are some trailers on sale. I forgot trailers about that. Trailers on sale. So yep. uh, we're Ends here. Ends today. What time are we closing today? Two o'clock. Two, Two o'clock. Um, so give us a call. We um, I had couple big we had we had a couple big carport uh designs last week you uh, shared so, the story about a, a person was looking at a pole shed okay and they are different pole sheds different than what we sell absolutely uh, and it might have included some other things but what was the price spread like was the pole shed in the ninety thousand dollar range low 90s 
And they, they told me they were going to put a mortgage on their house. To build a pole to, shed. To build the pole shed. So, but the building they bought from us, was it the same size or smaller? Or? Very, very similar. And very similar. about how much was it? Over 30? No, about 23. 23,000. Versus okay. 95. Right. So there's a difference. But the pole shed, you know, probably came with a, a concrete floor some different things, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying there is a difference. So if you're looking to build a building, I guess this would be a, a homeowner wanting a one car, two car garage. It well, could be this, this uh, particular company or couple has a, um, their own company. Okay. And so they do uh, auto repair. Okay. So, so this will be their repair shop. They're going to be uh, the repair shop plus an okay. office plus storage. Okay. So, um, so and they, um, they were just astounded. They actually had two quotes, two okay. different pole okay. barns. One was 87 and one was 93. Okay, so there's a price difference. In other words, and, and you know, our prices do include delivery and setup. Is that correct? Absolutely. <laughs> Funny story. Uh, they ordered last week. I got a call this week from Newmark, the right. builder, and they said, by any chance, do you happen to remember if the customer is ready? Oh, okay. They wanted right. to deliver it next week. Oh, uh, well, I do want to say <laughs> there's been a lot a, of people that waited way longer, so it just, it's a fluke. It's a fluke. It, 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 it was, I think, yeah. a lot of circumstances where they happened to be going in that area next week. And needed and, one to put and on And they the wanted to put it okay. on the trailer. So right. that is not usual. So let's talk normal. Can they have one in six months? How about three months? Three months. Okay. So let's just say as a rule of thumb, it's about 90 days, but this one was within... Three weeks. Three weeks. Yes. Yeah, but so, again, uh, that's not usual. Right. So I just so, want full disclosure. Full disclosure. Um, um, but So if you're not a usual customer, that may happen for you. Right. It has happened. Right. So. Um, where just the fluke, they happen to be set up to be going in a certain area, and they have room on the trailer, and they'll, Boom. they'll load it. It happens. Yeah. All right. So, so this is American-made steel? 100% out of okay. Southern Virginia. And it comes with garage doors? Roll up doors, yep. windows, skylights, whatever you want to design. Almost if you can dream it, they can build it. Exactly. All right. So go ahead. Come into the store and we'll help custom design. That's it what with you, you do. You spend some time with people. Absolutely. Right. Questions are welcome. Questions yep. are welcome. Next um, week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, I'm spending two days up in Amish country. Okay. So I'll be spending uh, a day with our Amish built shed folks. Oh, okay. And the next day um, is what they call dealer days for our playset folks that would be swing sets swing sets play sets. Um, it's made what's a play set well, they call it play set okay but, it, but it's, it's a swing set might have slides it might have rock wall fort houses or right. forts or whatever oh a rock wall rock have you wall. ever climbed that rock wall out no man rosa can do it can't she <laughs> i know my limits <laughs> <laughs> you know what lane to stay in and what lane to avoid yes <laughs> Man down, <laughs> out front. Mike fell no. off the rock wall. No. All right. So anyway, um, so the swing sets, what are they? What's a reasonable time frame? A couple months? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if you want one this year, let's get on with it. Four to eight now, weeks. That's right. Spring's right around the corner. So you order now, have it to you by mid-April. Okay. And we do, I mean, one thing, like, like a lot of people say, well, What's the big deal about Wellers? What is different about Wellers? Like if we, you were to have to describe, uh, if, if the product was the same everywhere, service. what would be different at Wellers? Service. Okay, so what, what do you mean service. by that? We educate, you know, we ask, we know what questions to ask, and when we're custom designing a carport, for instance, uh, we've been there, some of us, like myself, we own one, so we have personal experience and we know what questions to ask, and, and broaden their horizons, they might be thinking it for one use, but right. then we broaden their horizons that they didn't, about things that maybe they didn't think about. Right. Um, you know, these have protection if you have the right anchoring for winds up to 130 miles an hour. Okay. So we make okay. sure they have the proper anchoring. Um, so just service. Um, service. It's not just point and click anymore. You get hands right. We're the on. absolute opposite of that. Absolute opposite. Right. We're more about if you want to talk to somebody, if you want somebody to give you some guidance, some input, point and click is you got to think of it to point and click. Yeah, I was helping words, a so. woman yesterday design a simple carport for her car, and she was worried about dinging her doors when she uh, opened them up. So we were talking about the width. We went out to the parking lot with a tape measure to measure the width of her car to, make to, sure. to give her assurance that when she opens her doors, 
she's not going to ding her door. I had somebody talk to one of my people about a carport for a camper. And we must have brought up, do you ever want to put your slides out? Exactly. While it's underneath the, you know, the carport. And they were like, I never even thought of that. Precisely. You know, that right. service. So, that service, yep. So everything you can't get anywhere else is what we try hard to offer. That's right. So coming to Bridgeville to Wellers today, 8 to 2. Phones will be on in a few minutes. 302-337-8228. 8228. All right. Well, Mike, I'm going to let right. you go. All right. Have Thank a good you. weekend. Thanks for coming. Okay? Thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye. Mike Sando, everybody. If you've never met him, he's a real good guy. I got a good team over there at Wellers in Bridgeville, and they'll take good care of you. All right. So with that said, what is next? I want to do a sponsor segment real quick for Chick-fil-A. Who loves Chick-fil-A? Everybody loves Chick-fil-A. I got some Chick-fil-A yesterday. So I'm just letting you know whether you love their sweet tea or their lemonade. Whether you like them little ice cubes they have, there's something different about their ice, okay? Free straws. In a time when companies aren't even going to have straws any longer, Chick-fil-A still gives you a free straw. Anyway, good service. Always service with a smile, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. If you're having an event, you want to get something, you know, like to take home with you or you want it delivered, whatever you need done, Chick-fil-A can help you out. Great company, good community support. Um, I just can't say enough about them. So thank you, Chick-fil-A, for being part of Weller Does Del Marva. All right, what else is going on here today? Jim Martin is here. Haven't seen him in a little while. I see him very active on Facebook. So, Jim, what's going on? Oh, we have to take a picture. I'm sorry. Right here. Man, I will get in trouble. She will let me know later. All right, so how are you? Doing good. I mean, actually, I had my, I was just realizing I used to live right around the corner, right really? over the bridge in a group home. No kidding. That was one of my fresh starts that I, really? that I was able, an, an opportunity to kind of start fresh. And I lived in that group home over there, only a block away, and I remember this spot. So it's kind of really? like I'm back home again. Homecoming. <laughs> wow. So the shepherd's office there in Georgetown, correct? Yeah, we, yeah we're kind of like a drop-in place, a daytime program. Right, where, not an overnight thing. Right, we right. just try to help out with basic, practical things that they might need to, to help them get through the day. So this just is for somebody who is is, is uh, in between homes or homeless, in other words. Is yes. that right? Yeah, any, any, okay. any, anyone that's homeless, hungry, or lonely. I mean, okay, even, so even the lonely could, right, are out okay. there. They might so have they a place have to, to live. But, right, they don't have to be homeless. Okay. But they might feel a little, like maybe they're just having a bad day and they, and they want to try some to get company. some help with something. Right, right. So they can stop by. You're right there in Georgetown, is that correct? Yeah, we're right in Georgetown. Yeah, right, right near the circle. Be, unfortunately, we're right near the liquor store too, but okay. that's okay. We're, we're between the, the circle and... And okay. the liquor store. And the body shop. And if you get to the, the liquor store, you went too far. Okay, you went too far. <laughs> turn around. Right. When you turn around at that point, make a U turn. Right, right. Okay. So, anyway, and you're open five days a week, six days a week? Yeah, we're open six days a week. And every day we start with 8 30 prayer, okay. prayer and praise at 8 30 to 9. Then we have a free meal at some point during the day. Okay. And then we have uh, a free everything clothing event every day, weather okay. permitting. Okay. And then every night we have a Bible study from 6 to 7.30. Really? So we're really wow. a church now. We're really tur yeah. turning into a church. We don't have the pews or the pulpit, but we're, right. we're getting a fair amount of people coming in. for. So do you sing contemporary songs or hymns? Really, whatever, whatever they want, whatever really? they bring. Okay, very accommodating. Yes. Okay. So with that said... You always have a, a need for more volunteers, is that correct? Yeah, Helpers. always. I mean, we're always looking for help. I mean, we're easy to find if you want to plug in. and An just, hour a day? Even just, even just five drop by one time and just observe. have a five-minute visit. Right. You know, even Thomas Gaffney, a big shout-out to Thomas Gaffney. He, he's been donating, or not, really? not donating, but he's been uh, volunteering. Just to help time. out. Yeah, he's been He's just down. a teenager. I know. Wow, and, and he was in between cars too, so he had to. He had an old car, but then he got a, a better car. Okay. So he was having a bad day too, but he he gets he understands how how things work there, and he's been doing a great job there. Isn't that nice? Yeah, D Dan wow. Gaffney's son. Son, yeah. I think he's like 19, 18, 19. Really? Yeah, how inspiring to have somebody young yeah. just come along like that. Right. Now another thing, um, you're always needing volunteers. Um, how many people a day do you serve? I mean, it varies. I mean, the village is open now. The homeless village is right around the corner from us. So there's about 40 to 50 people that have kind of gone away, which is fine. Okay. I mean, the goal of our program is to not have any more homeless people. Right, right. That's our goal. So if, right. if I'm suddenly without a job or unemployed, that's good. Yeah, you've accomplished <laughs> the goal. Right. So we're our numbers are going down. So we're probably serving about 80 people a day still. Okay. Eight zero, okay. 80 people. 
That's but a before lot. it was up around 150. That's a lot. Yeah. Wow. So, so do you? There's an event coming up. So first of all, you always could use helpers. Yes. Okay. You always could use donations of items. Yeah. As well as monetary donations. Yeah, absolutely. We, okay, we never ends. I mean, because you're, yeah, you're, 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 people are just more or less giving through you. In other words, they give to this, right. and then you give it right to the people. Yeah, I mean, we're a free program, so we have to create some kind of revenue somewhere. So to, to and, keep getting the stuff. Like we have the helicopter right. up in the air right now. We don't want it to crash. Yes. So we got to keep putting, keep putting gas fuel in, in it. it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, and we're trying to learn while we're flying. Yeah. The, the vehicle. You know, That's we're trying to learn it, as we yeah. go along. So we make mistakes, but hopefully we won't crash. And then uh, do more is an opportunity for for people out in the community to get involved. Is it once a, a year or twice a year? Just once a year. So do once more twenty four is what we're going to lead into now, yep. and it is March second. Is that right? March second and third. It starts at six o'clock on March second. Okay. It's a Thursday night. Okay. Six p.m. to six p.m. And it's so this is all night. Coffee. You stay up all night long. No, no, I do sleep now. I'm getting old. Okay. I'm getting oh, too old okay. for that. Yeah, I got right. I got to lay down at some point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a team of people. Right. We, so this is an opportunity for people to give. In other words, and um, do more. Twenty four has come together, and it's a twenty four hour marathon, more or less. Yeah, and what's fun about it is that the incentives for matching funds, stretch funds, and also the hourly uh, funding prizes for the nonprofits, that's what makes it so interesting, is that you could have maybe 10 people give $5 each, and then all of a sudden do more, uh, you qualify or triggered a, a prize, a, bonus a funding something. matching thing or whatever, and then they give you an extra $1,000. Wow. And that's what makes okay. it so, that's why I, I always tell people I have like do more disease right now, you know, for like 30 days. Wow. Because I'm trying to get as many people as possible to donate. You need to make a so, chart of how, how you want them to do it. So in other words, you know, so. Well, this, no, you have to, it is unique email too. Okay. You have to, it is. They will count up the unique emails. You can't just just keep keep firing five dollar oh, donations. Oh, okay, okay. There is some. Okay, yeah, you have okay. to be fair in the contest. Right. So, so they do they do count the unique emails that are. Okay. They're, uh, I'm not getting too detailed. Sorry about that. Okay, but, that's all right. So we're, it's we're, a chance to give. In other words, yeah, and, um, give, yeah. and I've been involved with Jim for years. I, I totally believe it's a good organization. I want to encourage you if you don't know Jim or have never been to the Shepherd's office, take some time. It will change. Yeah. I tell people all the time that I admire how you can work with the people, your clients or whoever. Well, I mean, know. I was homeless. I showed up in Georgetown. I took a bus to Georgetown. I, I, I literally was desperate. I had nowhere to go, nowhere to stay. And I lived that experience for a couple of months trying to find my way. I went to Georgetown because they had the DMV and the Department of Labor in 2008. Oh, that's it was what during drew the recession. You to Georgetown. Okay. So that's why I ended up in Georgetown. And then I ended up, you know, all over the place in Sussex County. But. But generally, I, I live the experience, so I'm, I, I take a very practical approach to helping people. Very good. Yes. How did you become homeless? Well, I went through a divorce. Really? I had an addiction. Okay, and, and you I, lived in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I lived in Pennsylvania. Ended Weren't up in you Wilmington. Like a county commissioner. Yeah, at one time. Yeah, I mean right. that's why I got in trouble with alcohol because we would always, you know, drink after the whatever's. You know, uh, you know I got, I got okay. involved. That's that's the what happened. I, I was the happy hour extended into like six hours. You know? <laughs> okay, I got, in, I got in trouble. Right, and then that affected your home life. It affected your work life. Right, Everything. and then wow. I moved. I moved into one of the group homes, and because I had that political experience of serving the community, I realized that a group home was pretty special. So I was okay. asking questions. How did you get this place opened up? And I found out about the sobriety waiver, and okay. the, and that was empowering to me because you could just open up group homes without going to public hearing. Okay. And I, and I knew kind of knew that stuff because I was serving in a public role in my wow. town. So I kind of knew about the, you know, the difficulties yeah. people had in opening up group homes. But that's well, more detail. Sorry for all the talking. Right. But uh, well, that's okay. <laughs> but I do want to. I want to personally thank you for what you've done for our world and my community. Well, thank you. Uh, you've I, made I it a better place. In other words, I'm saying, us. but you've made it a better place. In other words, you know, it, and uh, you're making a difference in people's lives. One meal, one prayer, one conversation at a time. I don't think people realize that there's people that look down on the homeless and so on and so forth, and they don't realize yeah. everybody in this room is about two or three poor decisions from being homeless. I don't care how much money you have, you know, a fall yeah. is a fall. You know, so. Well, I do want to say, I do want to say something. Jesus makes the difference. It, it really is that your faith. This is a faith journey. Yes. And I knew I kind of messed up a, a, along the way, but then I repented, and then I was able to get back on track. And everybody's got hope if they repent. Right. So that's. that's if you keep doing the same thing, nothing changes. And that's part of the conversation too that we have with right. people. That's right. That's a hard. That's a tough conversation, but we have it. Trying to change their heart. Try to. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, wow. 
So, if somebody wanted to talk to you, if somebody wanted to learn more, um, Do More 24 is March 2nd, we know that, but if somebody wanted to learn more about the Shepherd's Office or Jim Martin, what should they do? Just reach out. Reach out, stop by, you could call, you could... What I is mean, the address? The address is 408 North Bedford Street. Four is it still eight yellow? North Bedford Street. Yeah, the big yellow house. The big yes. yellow house, okay. With yeah. the windows? Yeah, and we rent there. I mean, thank God for the property owner. He allows us to use the property. Yep. Yep. I've always rented. Wherever I was, I always rented. rented. That's, I never, okay. I, don't, I don't own anything. I'm a pretty humble guy. You know, I don't, I don't own any properties. I, I know you're well, a big property owner. I know. I'm yeah. kind of, I kind of took the other, you know, <laughs> the others. like a minimalist uh, right. attitude. You know? Right. I'm a minimalist <laughs> to some degree. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> but anyway. We're two, um, but our both, we were two gyms. So two look, gyms. I, I got the same haircut. You do? Yeah, right. So. We're sporting the same hairdo. <laughs> All right. Um, wow. So with that said, do you want people to just stop by if they wanted to get to know you? Reach by. out through Facebook. What yeah. is the Facebook I mean, reach page? out to the team, really. We have a team now. I mean, yeah. I this is it's too crazy busy. Yeah. So you got a reach, good team, too. Reach out to the team. And yeah, they do there. a good job. And I'm the least right. important. I am the least okay. important. Yeah, phone number? Yeah, phone number, um, number uh, 302-858-8556. 858 8556. Should they dial it in that order? Sure. Yeah. Okay. And we'll give some gift cards out too, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? That's it. I appreciate the time, Jim. It was and good. also a big shout out to the nonprofits in Sussex County. We want to try to. We, all of them are going to be raising money on. March second. Yes, and look for all the more. nonprofits. Yeah, look there's a lot them. of good nonprofits in out Sussex there. County. Yeah, in the, in the yep. platform, and then uh, uh, Debbie, Debbie Shore, we got to mention her because she's this is her place. She's amazing. So yeah, look for her too. Yeah. She's on there somewhere. Yeah, but anyway, thanks, Barbara everybody. Thanks. Okay, see you, Jim. Take care. All right, everybody. Jim Martin, I highly recommend you look him up, get to know him, and consider being involved. Uh, you want to make a difference, one person at a time, or it's a new year and you just don't know what to do with yourself and uh, so on and so forth, check them out. Hey, I want to do a real quick sponsor segment for somebody. It's my accountant. My accountant. They made a movie about him. No, it wasn't. It wasn't George. But there's uh, this is my accountant, George Luff, okay? George Luff and his son, Tyler. Uh, we have been cranking out the paperwork. Uh, my daughter, Jenny, does a lot of gathering of information. And um, my accountant is George Luff and his son, Tyler. It's called Luff and Associates. Now, they have three locations. You say, where are they? They're in Milford, they're in Rehoboth, and they're in Dover, okay? Been around over 30 years, and I've dealt with him probably close to all that time. Been very, very happy with George. We've um, done well together. He helps me with my payroll. He has a system called Easy Payroll, so if you own a business and you need help with payroll, he can help you with that, whether you got a couple employees or hundreds of employees, Easy Payroll at Luff & Associates. But if you're figuring out whoa, my tax situation is overwhelming to me. I need some help. I need some advice. Um, I just am tired of doing it myself. Luff & Associates is always looking for new clients. So I'm going to give you a phone number. It'll get you to any location. It's 302-422-9699. That's 422-9699. It's Luff, L-U-F-F, cpas.com on the web. Good people. They'll do a good job for you. They've put up with me for all these years, and I'm um, very happy. I saw Ryan Brower has arrived. We'll have him on in a little bit um, after the 8 o'clock hour. Um, we're going to have Colin Walls on, so when we take a break from the radio, I would appreciate it if you would consider switching over to TV Delmarva so you can see Colin without a hat. Okay, I want you to, can't see that on the radio. Okay, I want you to see it in for yourself. See it for yourself. So anyway, um, other than that, Mid-South Audio, we want to say a big thank you to Kevin Short. Kevin Short supplies us with all kinds of gear, and he can supply you with all the gear you need. So this is a sponsor segment, and um, I just want to let you know that the camera is up there, not there, it's up there. So anyway, um, Linda's doing a good job of, you need this pointer. You just need one of the little pointer things that's up there. So anyway, we need to hang a little flag from it or something. But anyway, I just want to let you know if your church needs any kind of audio, video, lighting, if you're going to put on an event, if you're having a party and you just need a portable PA system, if you need some input, you want to buy a new set of headphones, they got them all hooked up there. They got a whole thing of them. So it's like an electronic superstore if you need anything, audio, lighting, video, sound, anything like that. It's Mid-South Audio in Milton. It's right next to the post office. And it's right across from that big pile of firewood. All right, Mid South Audio, 
69.93. All right, what else is going on? Have I got time to turn on the phone again? Um, I could take one phone call. One phone call. If anybody would like to win a gift card to Vanderwins, Sandy, it's chilly over there, isn't it? Only when the door opens. Okay. Anyway, um, so give us a call, 302-422-7336 if you want a gift card to Vanderwins. Switch over to TV Delmarva real quick because Colin Walls is going to be joining me, and I don't want you to miss a thing. There's our crowd. Look at them all. Everybody's here. They're all cozy. How nice is that? All right. What else is going on? Kevin, are you doing all right? Is that a pancake? Where's the steak and eggs? Jim? Hey. Eight ounce ribeye. Yeah, hey, check right. out the butter. What? Oh, Colin? this is going to blow your mind, Jim. <laughs> They've got little cups of milk, half no. and half. They've got little cups of syrup. syrup. Now they've got that in sugar and free. jelly. They and do. Jelly. That's right. They've even got so, jelly. This is. Uh, I, this, I know this is groundbreaking technology groundbreaking to you, for me. So. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, good morning, Jim. Good morning, Colin. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So TV Del Marva Channel 14. So we are an over the air Channel 14. Point your antenna towards Seaford. Rescan. Okay. Look for channel 14, and uh, you're going to find seven channels there. Seven, seven of them. channels. Count them. You can count them if you want. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Yep. Of them. See how many you come up. Are with. they all in a right in a row? They are. 14 oh. point. Well, they weren't in a for a while there. Remember? Why? We skipped 14.6 oh, for did. a while. Oh, you did. Right. You had yeah. vacant spots. That's right. We had a vacancy. But 14, now it's all inclusive. Five. We skipped. Yeah. Okay. So but yes. So one so, seven. Yeah. So now we didn't get to uh, channel 14.5, 14.6 last time. 14.6 is the Seagull Radio. So it's actually a radio station, audio, over the air, and there's display ads. So if you have a business and you want to put just a display ad, this is like the really? most affordable advertising any business can afford That's to get good. in on this. I mean, we're talking like and 100 bucks. they just bucks. rotate around? Exactly. They just rotate around. So you put you in... You mean 100 bucks a month, not yes. 100 bucks an ad. Right. 100 bucks. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Well, I mean, 100 bucks... It, I mean, you, if, if I he won't talk it, you out of it, that's right. <laughs> but, but so uh, my thought is, uh, you know, we really haven't uh, uh, had this for sale yet on that channel. Okay. But my thought is, put a QR code on there with your yeah, yeah. with a coupon attached to it. Yeah. We can even create that QR code for you. We'll include in that the QR code can have your logo on it. Um, okay. You know, so if you're running a special, we can change it. You know, once a month or something like that. Oh. You're running a special, they can uh, take a picture That's with a that idea. QR code. Yeah. So lots of different things you can do on that, or if you just want your brand on there to use it as branding. So Robbie could have a QR code for free butter. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is there a place for Bruce Mears to park out there? I'm not sure. I think he's gone back right into your pickup, Colin. Okay, that's fine. Holy that's mackerel. Fine. He's insured. I don't I'm know. sure he's, he's insured. Not a, I don't know what to do on the cones. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he is insured, isn't he? Now, I'm no sure Honda he is. CRV. That's right, yeah. Yep. All right, who else have I got going on? There. You know what? what? You could take Jim could take the cones out. Everybody's here. Okay. Everybody is here. Yep. All right. All right. So... We Go ahead. You go ahead. TV Del Marva. Yeah. So uh, then we have 14.7. 14.7 is one of my favorite uh, channels here out of all of them because it's the Heartland Network. Heartland, the heart of country. So it's got classic country shows. It's got movies, but it's also got uh, current country shows as well. So Kevin's familiar, and he actually knows Larry of Larry's Country Diner. Really? Yeah. So that's uh, that show comes on, uh, I think, a couple times a week at like 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, so very good. They have... Uh, uh, country artists that'll come in and kind of sit down in a diner setting like this really? and uh, we'll play some music and they'll talk you know talk about their career and different things so uh it's kind of nice yeah it's very very informative mm. and uh you know so there's lots of lots of different programs so if you remember um crook and chase they their show is on every weekday crook and chase talking. uh also they have a, they had a show uh, that was on every night. It's an hour and a half, and it's on every night right now on Heartland. It is called Music City Tonight. So it was live performance, country artist performances. And this is back from the uh, mid to late 90s and into the 2000s uh, that they did these shows. So every night, that's at 9 o'clock from 9 to 10.30, Music City Tonight. You Music know, when you City say Heartland, Tonight. you know what I think of? What's that? My credit card processing. Oh, yeah, Heartland. Yeah, <laughs> Heartland Payment Systems. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have them. Did you really? I did, yeah. Okay. Yep. Then you moved uptown. Well, when we were in the gasoline business, they were one of the largest providers for really? uh, gas stations. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
Yep, so we use them. But All right. anyway, Heartland, that is a great channel. Um, it's, it's HD. We've actually got three high-definition channels, and our standard-definition channels are very clear, very good uh, standard-definition You use channels. good equipment. We do, yeah. We sure do, yep. So I'm going to take phone calls. Take some calls, Jim. Thank you. It's been a little sparse today. I've only had one call. Is that right? Well, you've only taken one call. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. One or two. You got yeah. two on hold? No. Okay. Did I take two phone calls? Okay. Just one. Okay. Good enough. Okay. Bruce you, Mears you, is coming in. You spent now. too much time with him. That's, That's what, it what it was. All right. <laughs> Everybody got scared. They thought I was going to make them answer all them questions. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. Phone all right. number 302 422 7336. If you'd like a gift card to Vanderwins, 302 422 7336. Give me a call. We'll put your name on the list. Bruce and Nancy have arrived. I saved you a spot right outside. You parked all the way down the road. We watched you, though. All right. So anyway, 302-422-7336. I'm talking to the audience while I'm talking to my... What? Oh, you have a phone call? Oh, we're prepping for the radio. All right. Let me look good for the radio. All right. We're prepping for the radio. Coco with the Popo was coming up. All right. I hear the music. We're back on the radio. Are we back on the radio? We're back on the radio. Thank you for the radio for being back there. All right, so we're going to do a quick segment real quick here. I want to talk about Coco. I first want to say there's somebody missing from the audience that I missed today. His name is Chris Callio. Chris Callio, we miss you. He's not over there, is he? No. Okay, we miss Chris. So we're going to get him a room over here on Friday nights so he can spend the night and be here on Saturday mornings, okay? That's what we're going to do. So, Chris, we miss you. We miss you. We miss you. All right. So what else is going on? We're going to talk to Ryan Brower. You got your whole family with you, I see? No. All right. We need our picture taken. Ryan's sporting a new shirt today. All right. What's up with uh, Top Flight Heating and Air? Ryan Brower. Lots of stuff going on, Jim. I uh, like this shirt. Does this mean you, you um, are a captain well, there? Uh, or so the, these are the uniforms that our technicians wear, and really? uh, sometimes I wear them as well. Okay. So I'm, I got a, quite a few uh, service calls I've got to run today. So okay. I decided the that weather has finish. changed, uh, hasn't it? It has, yeah, certainly. Wow. You can tell uh, the call volume comes in, the colder it gets. Yeah, so yeah. Certainly. Yeah. So with that said, uh, Top Flight Heating and Air is your business. Uh, you're steadily growing, got a lot of, a lot of nice looking vehicles, and uh, I hear you got one with four new tires on it. Yeah, so, we just had, had new tires put on one of the vans, yeah. so, uh, and we had feeling, a wall service center do that. Yeah. We certainly and appreciate their service. They did a and, great job. Well, he appreciated you dealing with him. Wonderful. So they've always wanted to sell tires and looking for some people to experiment with. No, I'm just kidding you. No, he's got a guy in there that used to teach it, teach people how to do things like that. All right, so the restaurant is filling up. Did you order breakfast yet? We just ordered, and okay. uh, the food just came out as soon as I came up here, so now it's right. time to cool. Okay, <laughs> well, talk to us about Top Flight Heating and Air. You got any help wanted? You got any room for new yes, customers? So, uh, help wanted. We're always hiring uh, employees, uh, technicians, helpers, installers, uh, as well as CSRs in the office. We're, we're hiring all the time. Uh, so it's never never a bad time to submit an application. Okay. I'll certainly accept them all year. All year, okay. Because you're always growing. Always. always. Always growing. Just like as much as you're looking for new teammates, you're always looking for new customers. Certainly. Okay, is there any requirements to be a customer? No requirements. No requirements. Um, we, we, if, if you have a heating and air conditioning system, uh, we would love to, to take care of you. Really? Absolutely. All right, and you service all brands or most brands? All brands. Okay. Certainly do. You, they didn't have to buy it from you for you to be able to work on it? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. And um, so what kind of service would people expect? If they called you, how does it work? You want them to call or text? So walk me through the process. What's I the best say, way? Uh, I would say currently that 70% of our customers book through calling us on our phone number. Okay. Um, they book a service call or maintenance or they want to have an estimate for a new system, they typically call. Okay. Uh, I, I would say that the other 15% book online right okay. through our online booking system and then the others book through email. So okay. it's it's starting to turn more uh, to an online booking platform. A lot more people are going that way, but we certainly do accept a lot of phone calls still. 
Okay. I gave a, my no, your number to a lady named Evelyn. I think Evelyn's going to call you in. Evelyn, her, yeah. I think she called this morning. At, did she really? Uh, six, 620. Really? Sure did. All right. Well, she anyway. Sure well, Evelyn, thanks for calling. Saw, so, well, yeah. So we, she, uh, she'll be a good customer for you. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. So, so anyway, you work on heat pumps. You work on heating and air. You sell the tankless water heater systems. We do. Yep. Right. We're, a, we're a proud Navy and tankless dealer. Um, we have been replacing lots of tanked, uh, you know, your traditional style 40 gallon electric water heater that you've seen for the last 50 years. We pull a lot of those out and convert them to tankless water heaters. Um, People even, are looking for the efficiency, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. You absolutely. Know, with the They're, rising price of energy costs. Yeah. They want everything to be as efficient as it can They're be. They're very efficient, and you get the added benefit of as long as you have power and propane, you're going to have water infinitely. Right. In theory, you'll have it forever. And the other thing is, I'm under the impression that once you size the house correctly, that if they turn on a water spigot, so, you know, like if it's a husband and wife, but all of a sudden the kids or the grandkids come spend the weekend, it's okay because that hot water heater can handle every spigot wanting demanding hot water absolutely as long as the water heater is sized properly right that's it should do as many bathrooms as you have absolutely wow. so if it's designed in a, in a, in a way uh, that promotes that then absolutely so you know like at my house I have an electric one so if I said hey come out and take a look at it it's called a retrofit you would you would you would figure out how to make it work absolutely okay sure would. then let's talk about ductless systems okay. ductless systems um, they seem to be good for older homes that already don't have any ductwork. They make it more affordable. They do. They do, certainly. So my house is a really good candidate for that. I have a, uh, it's around an 18 or 2,000 square foot farmhouse that was okay. built in 1921. Okay. Um, it has a very narrow crawl space, uh, so narrow that your stomach is on the ground and your back is touching the wood joist of the house. Uh, wow. So it was not a candidate for ductwork. Right. So we installed ductless in the entire house, and there are somewhere between eight and nine indoor units hanging on the wall. Okay. Um, we've had it for almost nine years now, and wow. it's it's excellent. We love it, and I don't think I would have went any other way, and I don't know if I could go another way in a future house. I love right. it so much. And it's very efficient because, like, if you have a couple rooms that you're in, more yep. than yep. others but you like it nice and warm while you're in there or you don't want it as warm definitely each room has its own thermostat mm -hmm. and even though there might be one unit or two units outside each room now they all either have to be on heat or air right that's correct right yeah, they all have to be but, in the same mode so like but, at, at our house uh, we keep the upstairs set you know relatively low in the winter because there's not many people up there true uh, so we save a lot of energy by not heating the upstairs and then uh, we can keep the bedroom a little warmer and the rest of the house cooler, you know, at nighttime when nobody's out there. And good way to save energy um, and to accommodate different people's, you know, flavor for their temperature requirement. And as people get older, some of them get on blood thinners. Yep. And so it changes what temperature they want and don't want. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of neat. Yeah. And you can put these in offices, too. Absolutely. In other words, um, you know, so if one office is a person that wants it a little warmer and the next office is a person that doesn't want it as warm, you can, because don't they make those where they go in the ceiling now? They do. So that's been a pretty popular thing here for the last couple of years. Now they have ceiling recessed units. Uh, they go into the ceiling and they're completely out of sight. You barely even know that they're there. Is that mainly um, for offices? No, no. No, no for we, homes, we too. We do that in residential settings quite often. Really? Yep, very, starting to become very popular. So that way, if they don't want something on the wall, they could just put it in the ceiling. Exactly. Okay, yep. and you do it all. I mean, from sizing it to talking to the customer, saying, you know, what are your needs? You know, you talk to the, you know, all the people that live there, and, and well, I like it really warm, and I like it really not so warm. And, you know, you help find the perfect fit. Because it's not one size fits all. It is not. Right? It is not. Okay. It's uh, quite a process to design them. A lot goes into it, and uh, we go through extensive training um, every single year with Mitsubishi in order to provide that that quality product. Okay. All right. Well, how do people get a hold of you? Now, first of all, it's call. F oh, I'm sorry. It's call Top Flight. 
Call dot com. Dot com. Right, and they can book an appointment there. Absolutely. Right at the okay. top of our website, there's a button on the right-hand side that says Book Now. You can book directly. You'll be able to see our uh, availability in real time. Oh, okay. So, so you don't we have, have to have wonder. A, right. If we have an appointment available on Monday between 10 and 11, you'll be able to see that appointment available, and you can, and you can book it right it in. in live or in real time. Wow. Well, sure very can. good. All right. How was your breakfast, sir? Good. 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 All yep. right, so phone number. What is the phone number? Best I got phone it. number is 302-329-8003. Yep. 329-8003. All right, anything else we need to know or you want to say? or? No, I think we covered everything pretty pretty well. Okay. Glad that we got to talk about Duckless today. Um, very excited about the product. It's becoming very popular. Lots of people want to know about it, so I want to be able to share the information. Where's your service area? Where's your Where's your best? So we started out with Sussex County only. Okay. Um, we have slowly expanded to uh, just south of the Dover Magnolia area. Okay. So we okay. go as far north as that. And uh, this year we are slowly migrating into the southern Maryland or the 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 southern Delaware into Maryland area. Okay. Uh, we'll be covering Ocean City and Ocean Pines and okay. Salisbury in the, in the near, near future. future. Excellent. Yeah. As you find more team players. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. That's the biggest and, thing. And if somebody is looking for a career, you're looking for career-minded people, people that want benefits, people that want nice equipment to work with, you know, and a, a company to be proud to work with. Certainly. So... Okay. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is we supply the employees with the best pay, the best benefits, the best tools, and brand new trucks so they work in the, in the best conditions. Okay. So really an enjoyable place to work, and we would love to have you. Okay. Well, very good. Well, I'm going to let you get to your breakfast. Is okay, that okay? Sounds good. I appreciate Thanks it. a lot. Okay. Thank Take you. care. Appreciate you. All right. There he goes, Ryan Brower, calltopflight.com. If you have any questions or whatever, I never even mentioned the maintenance agreements that he has, so he has those too. All right, so, Denise, you're doing a good job over there. Thank you. Um, what else is going on? It's a busy little environment here this morning. Um, dry zone. Let me think what's next. What else is next? I've got time to talk about dry zone, so I'm going to do it. Now, people hear me talk about dry zone week after week after week, and you almost would think I'd run out of things to say. But I do want to say this, Dry Zone is a local company that specializes in many things, but everything they do, one of the main things they do is crawl space encapsulation. They also help people with structural things like if something like sagging floors or sinking concrete, they can help you with things like that also. But what they are known for is being a very reputable company, offering first class service. Uh, this industry seems like everybody and their brother is getting into some of the things that Dry Zone does, but they have certain things they do, they do them very well. Their people are very trained. They use quality products that are designed specifically for that application. And um, you won't find them, you know, just trying to make this work here and that work there. Uh, but if you've got a basement that's leaking and you might need a sump pump, or if you want to remodel your garage, I'm getting ready to, to um, talk to them about something in my garage. Uh, they do this floor coating. This is another division they have called Hello Garage. So they could come in and they could take your garage and if you got a lot of oil stains or cracks or whatever, um, they can fix all that and then they put this coating on it with this nice speckle type floor coating. It's very durable. It's very moisture resistant. We did our showroom floor at Weller's in Bridgeville and it really, really, really turned out good and looks wonderful. So I'm just letting you know that they have cabinetry they sell, um, shelves, different things with the Hello Garage. So you've got Dry Zone and then you've got Hello Garage. You can learn a lot about them at DryZone.com. You can learn a lot about them by calling them on the phone, which is 302-684-5034. 684-5034. Dry Zone or Hello Garage on the web. I have a question for this young lady right here. Um, would she want to join me live? Would the kids want to be on? We're on the radio and we're on TV. If they'd like to come have a word, love to have them. So if they want to come on over, I'm ready. Yep, come on over. I need another microphone. Um, so that's that. I don't need another chair. I just need another microphone. So neither one of them. Oh, it'll be fun. We got gifts. We got gifts. We got a keychain. We got Chick-fil-A gift cards, Vanderwind's gift cards. Is it? 
Come on. No, no, never mind. Never mind. Leave it alone. Sorry about that. That's okay. If they change their mind, let me know. All right. We almost had some kids on. All right. So it's a lot of fun here. People are coming and going, and uh, everybody seems to be getting along and co-mingling. It's kind of nice. Uh, we're going to have some giveaways between 8.30 and 9. We've got three $10 gift certificates to Sunrise Restaurant. That's where we're at. We're going to be giving those away. You put your name in the basket. So in other words, there's a basket here that you put your name in the basket, and then we will have a drawing. So if we draw your name, you will be a winner of a $10 gift card to Sunrise Restaurant. We got three of those. We got some Chick-fil-A gift cards. We got some Vanderwins gift cards. So we're going to give away a few things. So please, please, please look at the camera. And also, um, I forgot what I was saying now. Put your name in the basket, but you got to stay till 8.30, quarter of nine, somewhere in there. We're going to draw these names out, okay? So um, that's that. Um, don't forget, if anybody wants to go to Coco with the Popo today in Greenwood. This is a today only offer, February 18th from 9 to noon at the Greenwood Town Hall, okay? They're going to have cocoa, coffee, and muffins will be provided, okay? So um, that's that. The town of Greenwood, you know, wants to, you know, let you meet and greet the police department, you know, in a non threatening way, okay? So um, I'm going to try to make my way over there. What else is going on? I forgot all about Wellers. Wellers is opening. We've had a horrible week this week, okay? I'm not going to cry, but I'm going to whine a little bit, okay? Um, I think we've sold maybe one or two trailers all week, okay? So our bank deposits have been very easy to make this week. We haven't had to deal with a lot of cash or checks or anything like that. So from that angle, it's been real good. But when you're used to selling 25, 30, 35, sometimes 50 trailers in a week, and you sell one or two, it's hard to be excited. But I'm still excited. We're healthy. Everybody's happy. We got customers coming in. Just nobody's in the mood to to do anything, in other words. And I try to encourage people, don't wait till we're crazy busy because the best time to get a deal is when we're not busy, and that's right now. Chuck, he needs uh, his ego boosted, in other words. So stop in there and say, what's up, Chuck, and um, get him encouraged and excited. It's been a weird week, but we're selling sheds and carports like there's no tomorrow. It's just the trailers that have slowed down a little bit, but whatever it is, okay? And we've got some trailers that will haul boats, but we now have trailers that will haul sailboat fuel. So if you have any sailboat fuel that you need to haul, we have trailers just for that. And then if you're a contractor, and like say you're in the fencing business and you're always digging post holes, we have trailers that will haul post holes, okay? So if you need to haul a post hole, we've got trailers that will do that, okay? All right, I can see Linda and Denise are trying to figure this out. They got it figured out. So I don't know what else to say. l and Insurance Agency, um, we are talking a lot frequently. In other words, I'm buying some, I've got some uh, family members buying some more vehicles. So anyway, we're communicating with that. So uh, we found a good deal on a used car the other night. That was a nice thing. So I want to say thank you to the people that sold us that car for one of my granddaughters. So anyway, l and Insurance Agency, why do I like them? Why do I like them? Um, nobody likes buying insurance. I don't like buying insurance. I like the experience that I receive when I deal with l and Insurance Agency. So this is a sponsor segment, and l and has been my insurance company for a long time, and I've been very happy with them. So whether you need car insurance or you need renter's insurance or you need boat insurance or jet ski or motorcycle insurance or you own a business and you want to be properly insured, whatever you want to do, Oh, the singers have showed up. Are you two the singers? Are you here to sing? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But anyway, trying to give them a hard time. So with that said, I'm just saying l w has been a great insurance company for me. I deal with Bill Strickland and the whole team of people there. I'm getting ready to turn and be a senior citizen. So now I'm going to go on Medicare. We're going to see what that's like. Um, so anyway, it's not bad. All right. So anyway, I just want to say if you want to talk insurance, you need insurance, you want to evaluate what insurance you have, give L&W a call. It's 302-856-7828. Dial it in that order, 
7828lwinsurance.com on the web. And like their Facebook page, too. Here's these gift cards. I got them all ready. I got three gift cards for the Sunrise Restaurant. So if you're here and you're going to be here till 9, put your name in the basket so you can sign up for a chance to win a gift card. There's going to be some other gifts. So uh, what else is going on? Everybody's eating food. There's quite a good crowd here. No fights have broke out. Everybody's getting along. Free napkins with all purchases and uh, free little butter. The little butter things, they're so cool. All right, Sunrise Restaurant is where we're at. We're going to get Robbie out in a little while. After 8.30, we're going to get Robbie out here. So let's open up the phone lines. Anybody out there want a gift card to Vanderwins? A gift card to Vanderwins, okay? Call me on the telephone. Hey, would you like a gift card to Vanderwins ice cream? No? You two don't eat ice cream, neither one of you? Vanderwins ice cream. All right, just checking. All right, trying to give away gift cards, but I found two people that it's a firm no. Leave me alone. Let me eat my breakfast. All right, what else is going on? Like I say, we're going to have Robbie. So the phone lines are open. It's 302-422-7336. 422-7336. Would those two people like a gift card to Vanderwins? You would? Would you sit down and say hi for me? Oh, here we go. I've snagged somebody. All right, this lady is, I believe she's from Alaska. I'm not sure. Um, so uh, just talking to, oh, we have to take a picture first, if you don't mind. Sure. Yeah. All right. Um, are you from here? We have a place here, but we're from Pennsylvania. Okay. Has this caused you to not want to come back this show? No, this okay. is actually our first time here at this restaurant. We've drove, driven really? by it many times wow. and had no idea you were in here. And okay. Here we, so. Well, we do this show every Saturday morning from 7 to 9. Okay. And uh, we try to have a lot of fun doing it. Mm -hmm. We're live on the radio. We're live on TV. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. We're a little bit of everywhere, okay? Okay. Did you see her swallow just then? <laughs> so, so I'm going to give you one of my cards so you can go watch this segment later. Okay. At Weller Does Del Marva. Do you know of Vanderwins? Do you know of Vanderwins? No. There, I believe right down the road here is a Vanderwins. Okay. It might not be open yet. It'll be open in the summer. Mm -hmm. Outside of Bridgeville, they have another Vanderwins. They have one in Greenwood. They have one in Fenwick Island. So it's great ice cream. I'm going to give you two gift cards awesome. to Vanderwins. How about Chick-fil-A? Have you heard of Chick-fil-A? Yes. Do you yes. eat there any? We do occasionally. Oh, well, yes. then I'm going to give you two gift cards. Do you mind if I give you two oh, gift cards to Chick-fil-A? No. I, don't, I don't want to offend you. <laughs> no, not offend you. Okay, offended. I don't want to wait you, you like chicken. <laughs> yes, chicken's good. <laughs> okay, so Thanks. two gift cards to Chick-fil-A. And then here's a Weller Dusdale Marva keychain. How's that? I love it. Thank you. So, how was your breakfast? It was really good. What we did just, you get? I had a big omelet with oh, okay. ch uh, cheddar and ham. Okay. And the toast. And okay. Yeah, it was all great. Now I they even tell have some me. Leftovers I see there. that. I yeah. see that. Yeah. Uh, they tell me the steak and eggs are real good. It's okay. an eight ounce ribeye oh. steak. So, wow. Robbie, he's a young man back here. Mm -hmm. He worked here when he was a teenager and he has bought the business. So he's open six days a week for breakfast and lunch, um, and he's closed on Tuesdays. Okay. So if you could support him, we'd appreciate it. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Free napkins with all purchases. Mm -hmm. Free ice with your cold drinks. So, oh, and these little butter things. I have not seen those before, so. That's awesome. All right. Well, thank you. Well, what's your name? My name's Crystal. Crystal. Yes. And are you retired? No, I'd like to be. But. Okay. What do you do for a living? I'm a high school guidance counselor. Oh, really? Right yes. here in the area? Uh, in Pennsylvania. Really? We're from Lidditz, Pennsylvania, which Lidditz. is a little tourist town as well. Okay. Oh, yeah. isn't there a chocolate store there, or am I in the wrong place? Yes, Wilbur. Yeah, yeah, we've been there. Yeah. Yeah, and they got them little, hey, next time you're home, you can bring us some chocolates. Okay. Yeah, right. I'll when, be back. When you be, okay, well, good. Well, we're only here till May 6th. Okay, so. maybe next weekend. Right? Hey, okay. I like, what are they called? The little dots. Wilbur you know, Buds. Wilbur Buds, yes. that's right. Yep. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining yeah, me, thank okay? You for All right. Me. See ya. Bye-bye. There you go. It's that easy to to have your life interrupted. It's that easy right here. So, oh, and he's sporting a hairdo almost resembling mine. All right. See y'all. Thank you. All right. Um, we are having a good time here and I don't know what else to say. So, uh, it's that simple if you want to Hang out with us. All you got to do is make plans. I would make reservations, in other words. So, uh, but they're coming and they're going. Uh, we had these two young ladies over here. I don't know if they've changed their mind or not, but we may snag them. We're going to have Robbie on in a little while, and Robbie's going to tell us 
how he makes the secret sauce back there. I hear the music, so we're taking a break from the radio, taking a break from the radio, and uh, switch over to TV Delmarva because I don't want you to miss Colin Walls. Colin Walls, I can't stop looking at myself. I'm such a handsome young man. I just never seen anybody sporting such a good hairdo. I'm supposed to be looking up there. That's now I have to look at that one. See, Linda, that's exactly what I said. We need to put a monitor up there. Yes. Right. Uh, so I'll stare yeah. at myself. Oh. <laughs> Colin, what do you think? Uh, it's busy in here. Yeah, really busy. Right. That's. Uh, I think my mic's a little hot here. Yeah, it is. Mine's yeah. mine's cool. Yours is cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely got. Bring oh. mine down. No. Yeah. You should or get just, Sam to pull that down some more. It's frozen. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. We have a good crowd today. Yeah, it is a real good crowd, yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to talk them two girls into getting on this show before it's over with. I think you just should leave that alone. Leave that alone. Yes. Mm. Yeah. All yeah, right. We don't need anybody crying. Or well, we're going to get some Wilbur Buds or... here one of these days. You yeah. remember that day? Okay. You ever been there? Lidditz? I've yeah. Been to, I've been to Lidditz, yeah, okay. for sure. Yep. Well, you got to go to Wilbur's Buds. Or what, what's it? Some chocolate company. Okay. That's all I know. And the whole street's full of all kinds of little um, stores yeah, and stuff oh yeah, like I've that. Yeah, I've been there, and I've probably been Your to that. Your mom's the one who told us about oh, yeah, it. yeah, she goes up there all the time. Yes, she she's the one there. who told us about it. I think she goes to, when she's there, she goes to some church. The yes, Mon she told us. All, yep, yes. she told. Yeah. That's how we found out about it. Yeah. Yeah, and she might have been there on the 4th of July or something sometime. I can't remember, or some uh, maybe, celebration, yeah. maybe, or maybe yeah. a town-wide celebration. Yeah. But we're Very taking possible. up all your time, Colin. You are taking so. up all my time. Let's reset the timer. <laughs> reset the timer. Back to 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And uh, we'll get from there. So, oh, anyway, gosh. Anyway, uh, Wall Service Center, and we want to thank Ryan Brower for bringing his, uh, from Top Flight Heating and Air, bringing his Van. work vehicle in, one of his vehicles there. And, um, yeah, we uh, got him all fixed up. How do you like his new shirts? Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks good. Now, yeah. All his new branding that he's doing and all that is really nice. And First class. Very well thought out. You can yes. tell that it's not just thrown together. Like, it's right. very well thought out, and I think that's kind of how he's planning his business. He's thinking right. it out, and he's, he's doing, doing a nice right. job. Exactly, yeah. So, um, yeah, anyway. Um, so, yeah, thank him for that. But Wall Service Center, so if you want to bring your car in, if you know we're doing tires on it or if we're doing a oil change or if we're doing a repair or something on it, just checking it out. There's lots of things to do around us. You can bring your car, drop it off. You can walk the Milford River Walk right, or right on the Miss Pilliam River there. And I mean right on the Miss Pilliam right. River. It's right behind us. Right. Um, so you can walk along the River Walk. You can go to all the downtown shops. Here's some shops that are just within walking distance okay. of the Wall Service Center. The Irish Rose. It's a gift shop. Maggie's Antiques. Blooming Boutique. Red Bandana. So if you've got kids and they're into Pokemon cards and all those oh. types of things, Red Bandana is a... It's, big they've just expanded into the store that was next to them really yeah so they've got lots of those things uh, i think they even have tournaments for pokemon tournaments and really? UBO and all those things yeah so hunters over there are like oh what what, oh, what? i had no idea oh, hunters attention <laughs> but uh, lots of good restaurants these yes. are all here's all the restaurants just within two blocks of wall service center okay. surf bagels arenas Benvenuto, BB's Taqueria, AC Special Chicken, Happy Chinese Restaurant, Sisters Caribbean, La Hacienda, Park Place, Fondue, My Sister's Fault, River Lights Cafe, and West Side Restaurant. Yeah. So uh, it's that's kind of just out, and the Milford Diner, just barely out of yep. what I would consider walking distance, but you know, it's well a, worth the walk. Uh, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Or stop after you're done right. getting your car then work going. We've got a couple coffee houses. We got Dolce and the Well Coffee House. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's. Just lots of it's a happening things. little town. It so. really is, and you know, why not take advantage do something of it? Instead of right. just sitting around, you know, while your car's being worked on, go out and enjoy yourself. And we actually will give you a ride if you need a ride to any of these places. You know, some people don't get around as well as everybody else, so we could give you a ride to one of these okay. restaurants there, drop you off, and uh, excellent. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we can call you Very or text you when, when your vehicle's ready, and you can say, uh, "Okay, well, come get me now." Okay. So wow. just the little things we do at Wall Service Center, you know, and uh, speaking of texting, uh, we'll give you text reminders of your appointment if you give us your number and, and allow us to text you. That's a good idea. We'll give idea. you email reminders if you want, if you want to give us your email. And if you give us your text or email, it's also going to get you in on any special deals we're having, you know, uh, like last month we did, uh, uh, for some people, we did uh, like a 10% off. Like a flash deal. Before. Exactly. Right, so, like. Hey, we've got some openings, and if you want to bring your car in right now, we're going to give you 10% off. Right. Like, I haven't sold any trailers this week. If you want to come in right now, we're ready. 
<laughs> you left, you I left need. the 10% off. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and some people say, well, I'm ready. My car is ready, but I'm not ready. You right. know, I, don't, I don't have the finances right now. Right. My check doesn't come until Friday or the first of the month or whatever. Right. We've got financing for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can get your vehicle financed, whatever the uh, repair is for, whether it's tires or, or what. So anything over $149 is eligible for six months, same as cash. So check that out, too. And we can... We can send you a link to that. We don't actually take your information at Wall Service Center. You deal directly with the right. company. So we'll send right. you a link, text, email, uh, whatever you want, uh, as far as that goes. And then you just deal directly with them. Right. You're and not in the middle of it. Exactly. Because you in would the approve of everybody. It, we would if approve it were up to you, I right. would if approve it's everybody. Their money yeah. And our I, approval process. Right. I would approve everybody. Approved. Yeah. So, oh. but anyway, what we're saying is we, we've got programs and different ways we can work with you, whether you know you need a ride somewhere or whatever. So, very good. Yeah. Yep. Been around 65 years. 65 plus years. Yeah. Yep. In Milford. All right. Yep. Anything else I need to know? I think that's it. When are you giving those Wawa gift cards away? Is that today or is that? No, that's week? not today. That's another week. They're like my they're like my spare tire. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just keep them in case need, I need them. We're right. Make kids cry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a twenty five dollar <laughs> Wawa gift card. <laughs> when you get old enough to buy gas, there won't be gasoline cars. <laughs> when you get old enough to drive, wow. Right, this will get you a dollar worth of gas if you right. can get it. Wow. Yeah. So. All, All right. right. Did you say you were opening the phone lines up? I no? was. Oh, okay. I can't even remember. Was there a caller on well, hold? I think, no, I think you got distracted. Uh, you had that lady come up. Oh, and, okay. Uh, I lost them. Yeah. All right. So let's turn the phone back on. 302-422-7336. Okay. 302-422-7336. If you want to call, you will win a gift card to Vanderwins by calling me. And you pick it up next week, Tuesday through Saturday. All right, now I hear the music. We're back on the radio. So good morning, everybody. Jim Weller here. We are in the final half hour of Weller Does Del Marva. I can't believe it that we've made it this far. It is a chilly morning outside. We are sitting in Dewey Beach, Delaware. Weller Does Dewey. And that's exactly where we're at. So if you would like to stop in, we're at Sunrise Restaurant. Sun. Rise Restaurant. The sun has risen. We are in Sunrise Restaurant. People are eating. The food is good. We're going to be joined by Robbie. We're going to give away some uh, gift cards here in a little bit. And um, it's going to be a good morning. So anyway, we're just ready for Robbie. Is Robbie coming? I want the food. I want the food. I want the cash. I want it all. What? A minute? All right, start the timer. One minute. No. Anyway, no. That's fine. Just tell him we're ready for him. Okay. All right. So, Robbie. Oh, do you want to bring the food or? I was told to just come on out. Okay. Either one. We'll take the food. Okay. Either one. You could come back with food or you could sit down now. I want you to come back with food. No problem at all. All right. I can't talk to Robbie without food. All right. When I look at Robbie now, guess what I think of? Food. Okay, and them little cups of butter. So anyway, um, so anyway, I'm just saying that you know uh, we're here, and this is where we're at, and we need the phone to ring, 302-422-7336. That's 422-7336. Okay, Sunrise Restaurant. We're gonna chat with Robbie in a little bit. We also want to make sure anybody in the room, if you, if nobody has not signed up, you gotta put your name on a piece of paper. You'll be eligible to win. We're giving away three or four things today, about 845 or 850. So we're going to do that. So I'm just letting you know we've got that going on. All right. With that said, I want to tell you about Coco with the Popo. All right. I'm going to do this officially now. Okay. The town of Greenwood Police Department it presents Coco with the Popo. All right. And that is a today only offer right there at the Greenwood Town Hall from nine to noon. Saturday, February 18th, which is today. That's today, okay? So I just want to let you know they're going to have cocoa, coffee. Um, they're going to have muffins. All of that will be provided. You'll get to meet the police chief. I think they've just hired a new sergeant who maybe was with them at one time. And then we've also got um, Mr. Willie. So we've got uh, three people, and I think there is a lady that's in charge of everything there. And I don't know if the town manager is going to be there or not, but her name is Janet. And Janet is doing a good job there in Greenwood, all right? So Weller's is open. They've told me we already got people through the door. So we want you to 
we want you to buy a trailer today, okay? So if there's any way we can twist your arm and talk you into buying a trailer, you know who has bought a, a few trailers from me? It's a company called Kiss My Axe, okay? And they're buying another one. So I believe that's Scott Harris. They're in Milford, um, and it's a neat place. I have not been yet. I need to go. I got to take my grandson and go. And you throw an axe. And uh, so anyway, um, check that out sometime if you would. And I want to mention the Weller discount cards. I had somebody ask me to read everything that's on this card, okay? So here we go. How much time I got? I'm about out of time. But anyway, here's what's on the Weller's discount cards. We sell these at Weller's in Bridgeville. They're $10, and every bit of it goes to charities. We take the money. We try to sell 1,000 of them a year, which is $10,000. So we try to do that, and then we recycle that money back into the community, okay? So with that said, what are some of the businesses that are on there? Dairy Queen in Milford, a dollar off a of blizzard, even if you get a little one, a dollar off a of blizzard. Then you've got Papa John, Supercuts, Dry Zone. Listen to this one. Dry Zone, 10% off any project, whether it's Hello Garage or Dry Zone. 10% off, all right? And then you've got Hardee's. You've got Outback. You've got West Side in Milford, 10% off. Jake's Wayback Burgers. You have got Fat Daddy's Barbecue, The Palace. You've got Best Shot. You've got Integrity Pest Solutions, No Nonsense Office Machines, Kiss My Axe is on there. Then you've got Tony's Pizza in Bridgeville. You got Applebee's, Vanderwinds, and Jeff's Tap Room. That's a lot of things. Applebee's, look at Linda. She's like, I never thought of using it at Applebee's. 10% off at Applebee's. 10 per oh my God. What? I can't believe she's, don't you have one of these? All right, so if you're out there and you're listening and you want one, they're $10, okay? We do donate the money to charity. If you'd like one, they're available. I got some right here with me now. In case you want to buy another one, Linda, just so you won't forget. Um, and anyway, I'm just letting you know you can buy one here or you can buy one at Weller's in Bridgeville. We have a few left, and um, it's a good thing. Everybody wins. That's a win, win, win for everybody, okay? So with that said, I'm going to open up the phone lines, and we're going to take some phone calls. I'm required to take so many phone calls today, and i gotten behind. I'm sorry about that. I've run out of time is what I've done. So it's 302-422-7336. 302-422-7336. If you would like to get a gift card to Vanderwins for free, one gift card to Vanderwins, 302-422-7336. Now, to get you a free scoop of ice cream, or you can trade it in towards a milkshake or towards a banana split or anything else that they sell. You trade it in. I think it will be like $5 towards whatever else you may want at Vanderwins, or you could just get some ice cream and go absolutely for free free okay and you say well where in the world are we we're sitting right inside of a restaurant in dewey beach delaware called sunrise restaurant okay and that's where we're at i guess we're gonna have to switch gears i'm gonna need guada 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 we're ready for you whenever you are ready we are going to do our drawings now okay oh robbie's ready okay well then we'll do robbie hold up guada we're just running out of time today all right so all right, here comes Robbie. He's going to be sporting something delicious. Have a seat, please. And, um, oh, man. All right, here it is, everybody. If you didn't know what to order for breakfast or lunch, check this out. This is an eight-ounce ribeye steak with two eggs over easy, three eggs over easy, and hash browns. We might allow you to leave that. We might. Kevin, are you all right over there? Okay, so there it is right there. This is a ribeye steak, eight ounce, and um, hash browns and three eggs. Um, I think it's like 25 bucks or something like that. $21.99. I was close. $21.99. Real close. So I was in the neighborhood. I was in the hood. Yes, sir. All right. So, Robbie, how you doing back there? Great, thanks. Good great crowd. Time. No great fights crowd. that broke out. No. Everybody's getting along. Not yet. Yeah. Free this salt and pepper with all purchases. They, they must be full of food. I love the little butter things. I've never you seen like them those? before. Thanks. Is that like a Thanks, Dewey bro. Beats thing? or <laughs> It's a sunrise thing right a, now. It's I a think. sunrise yeah. thing. All right. This is fine dining, yeah. folks. Okay. Yeah, Free napkins. No limit. 
No limit. So no. if you make a mess or something like that. And you're right. All the salt and pepper you can eat. That's right. right. And, and all ice with yeah, all cold drinks. I heard you promote the ice earlier. Yes, that right. good. Thank it's you. It's nice and Thanks. crunchy. Okay. Exactly. The only thing is I got some water here yesterday, and I pushed the wrong button. And I said, man, that city water tastes weird. What was that kind of? That, that was just soda water. Soda drink. water. Only so soda water. Do yeah. not serve yourself as I no. did. Let a professional do it. Let a professional do it, all right? Exactly. So exactly. stay outside from behind the counter. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I had a headache, and then that drink got to me. I'm like, man, I'm just not used to city water, I guess so. No, it was soda water. F fancy here. What do you do you with soda water? I don't even know what you do it with it. You know, some people ask for it, and I just put it oh, in the really? cup. Oh, really? That's about it. That's very it. nice of you. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So anyway, what, what are you open? You're closed on Tuesdays. Closed on Tuesdays, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., though. All right. Well, but for weekends, we're opening 6.30 now. 6.30 in the yes, morning. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. So that is a eight-ounce ribeye. It is. With three eggs and hash browns, $21.90. Yes, $21.95. $21.95. $21.95. All and right. And a certified black Angus ribeye. No kidding. Delicious steak. Okay. Absolutely All right. great. Anything it's else? it's not pictured here, but it also will come with toast. Really? Yeah. One piece or two? Two. Come on now. Two. All right, two pieces of toast. All right. Every time. Every time. What are we doing? Smiling? Picture? Oh, let me hold that plate for the picture. Oh, that's Let's make for, it for real. The for the picture. For the picture. picture. Sure. How's that look, Linda? Okay. Looks great. Okay. okay, there you go. Cool. All right. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you. All right. Now we're ready for Guada. Guada, Guada, Guada. Has everybody signed up? Okay. Now, this is to win some gift cards some gift cards oh. to numerous places what are you doing all right yes are you going to coco with the popo you didn't even hear me talk about it i did okay that's you've, like, yeah but you it's a today only offer you've only got till noon to get there what is the coco oh, so like with the po the fuzz we don't call them the fuzz anymore is that are, what you are said you going? I, I might be going i'm not okay. sure yeah. depends okay. I might did you call them the fuzz no. No. Didn't that, wasn't that what they used to call the police, the fuzz? Popos. Yeah, popos. Now they call them police. <laughs> <laughs> the popo. Coco with the popo is a today-only offer in Greenwood. I told them I'd mention it a hundred times, so I'm trying my best to pack the house. Oh, they have muffins. Yeah, muffins. Oh, go. yeah. Yeah. And they're brand new. Oh. Never been touched by human hands. Okay. <laughs> All right, you know how you get them coins and they tell you they've never been touched by human hands? Uh -huh. They got a bunch of monkeys in there putting them in the containers. <laughs> never been touched by human hands. All right, are you ready for the drawing? I'm ready for the drawing. All right, is, are you ready, Linda, for the drawing? Okay, so this is a drawing for a $10 gift card to Sunrise Restaurant. Are we ready? Ryan Brower is a winner. <laughs> a $10 gift card. Now, hold on. Let me let me just do all the giveaways, and then we'll line them up, all right? So there's Ryan Brown. Now, this one here is going to be for four gift cards, two gift cards to Chick-fil-A, and two gift cards to Vanderwins, okay? Are you ready for this? All right. What am I doing? I'm drawing another name. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. It is Ida. 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 Uh, Ida. <laughs> Ida. <laughs> Ida is going to get stuck oh on. God. She's going to get stuck on camera anyway. Said that she always wins something. Really? On a bingo. Oh, oh, that's Ida. Yeah. Oh, she, she. Hold on, hold on. Is she coming over? But not yet. But okay, we're going to do another one now. This one, this one is going to be for a ten dollar gift card to Sunrise Restaurant. How's that? Everybody ready? What name is that? Is that Kevin or Keelick? Kevin. Is that Kevin? Did you sign up? Is that Kevin? Okay. I didn't know if it was what it was. All right. Sunrise Restaurant. Sunrise Restaurant. All right. Next is two Vanderwins and two Chick-fil-A. Everybody ready? Two Vanderwins and two Chick-fil-A. Are you ready? Colleen, I cannot spell the last La name. Who They're is right it? Here. Colleen, Colleen, where? Colleen Lahace. Oh, over there? All right. Guada knows where everybody's sitting. She knows where all the bodies are buried. All right. 
<laughs> now, one more is a ten. What was that one for? This. That's, that was this, okay. Because we got to get everybody up here. We'll do a group shot. All right, so anyway, this is for a $10, $10 gift card to Sunrise Restaurant, okay? And I was here when the sun was rising this morning. All right, who we got? One more. All right, here we go. Oh, my. This young lady, she is going to be so excited. So excited. Sandy Katz. All right. So what do we do from here? We got to get everybody over yeah. here? Is that what we're going to do? Okay. Did you get all their social security numbers and everything for the winnings? All right. What are you doing? What are we? Where is it? Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. The slip's gotten, the slip's gotten smaller. I know. Man, the crowd's gotten bigger. What did we have the first day? 40? 40 something, 43. And today we've got 54. 54, like on and off. Yeah, like wow, 54 yeah. people. Thank you, everybody, for coming. All right, get on over here. Come right on over, young lady. I'll, I, do, I will need a cordless mic, at least one, maybe two. All right, we'll do that. Can you hold that? Can you say hello? Hello. Say it three times fast. Hello, hello, hello. All right. All right, what did you win? I forgot what she won Chick fil A. And two Vanderwins. Are you good? Do you like ice cream? Do you like Chick-fil-A? Which do you like more? Uh, Talk right into the dash. I don't know. Okay. Are you glad to be over here now? Yeah. Okay. Can you see yourself right there? Mm -hmm. All right. Here you go. Will that will that be good? And where are you from? Um, <clears throat> Rutledge. Rutledge? Outside, College? Outside. Outside oh. Philadelphia. You got up early to get here this morning, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thanks for coming down. All right, thank you. Bye. All right, there she was on, see? All right, now, who's next? Come right on over here. Are you Colleen? Yes, I am. I forgot what she won. What did she win? Sunrise. Sunrise. Was it Sunrise? Sure. You won, what'd you win? Sunrise. Who else? I don't remember. You won, did she win Sunrise? All right, I'm going to maybe have to give Kevin's away. I don't know. What did she win? The Chick-fil-A? Chick okay, here. Hold that. Let me figure out what you won. You won two Chick-fil-A gift cards, and you won two Vanderwins. Are you familiar with Vanderwins? Yes, I am. Do you like ice cream? Yes, I do. Okay. And um, are you familiar with Chick-fil-A? Yes. Okay. And what do you like at Chick-fil-A? Anything with the, coat, the chicken -y coating on it. Oh, really? So you like that crunchy, deep-fried... Yeah. Okay. Do you like their dipping sauce? Yes. Which is your favorite dipping the sauce? That, I agree. Okay. And do you like their ice? Um, I like the ice here. Okay. Oh, you like the ice here. No problem. Okay. All right. Well, very good. Well, two Chick-fil-A, two you. Vanderwins. And what do you think of this show? Have we interrupted your breakfast? Uh, I feel like I walked into a circus. Oh, really? <laughs> that was my intentions. I, I had no idea this was going to happen today. It's going to happen next Saturday, too. Uh -huh. Will, will you come be, back? I won't be in town next Saturday. Well, when will you be back? May, sometime in May. Can you come May 6th? That's our last time. Maybe, because that's my dad's birthday. Yeah, bring him with you. I will. Okay? We'll give him some gift cards. Oh, uh, he would love it. All right, how was your food? It was wonderful. Have you been here before? I loved it, yes. Okay, well, very good. Many times. All right, well, let me have the microphone. There you go. You take the gift cards, and we'll see you. <laughs> Goodbye. Who's next? I can't even remember who's next. Ryan Brower, get on over here. All right, Ryan Brower. Now I know he won. Now, now see, now we got the kids on here. Hold that and talk right in. Say hello. Say hello, 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 hello. hello. Come on over. Hello. Come on over. Give him that thing. Hey, say hello. Are these guys twins? <laughs> hello. Hi, everybody. All right. What did you win? A gift card to Sunrise Restaurant, right? Right. Hold that. All right. We ready for the picture, Brian? Brian, Brian. All right. Okay, goodbye. Well, hold on. I got something else for them. Let me give them guys a keychain. You want that? You want a keychain? There you go. By the time you can drive, there will be no gasoline engines left. What do you, hey, what do you say? What do you say? Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Oh, well, let me give them some Vanderwins, too. I got to believe these kids like ice cream. Hey, look. There you go. Look, we got more? What do you say? Say thank you. Thank you. Say adios. Thank you. All right, I'll take the microphone. I'll take the mic. Who's got the mic? I got the mic. Never mind. Sorry, I got it. Don't worry. Sandy, have a seat. All right, here she is. 
Now, this is Sandy Katz, okay? She's one of the tallest ladies in the room. No, I'm just kidding. You are? That's right. Vertically challenged. All right. The good thing is on a windy day, it blows right by us. That's right. That's right. All right. So, how are you today? I'm doing wonderful. Good. Let's get you to I'm talk glad, into I'm that. I'm glad that we made it over. And smile pretty for the camera. All right. And you won a $10 gift card to the Sunrise Restaurant, okay? Oh, she already got it. Oh, this is Kevin's. Yes. Okay. All right. Would you like me to bring yours? No, I'm he's kidding. coming I'm over. Kidding. I'm kidding. All right. I'm kidding. All right. Thanks. Well, thank you very much, and um, everything good with you too. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna let you go. Okay. And we'll be back. Okay. Well, good. I'm glad Sorry, you're here. Good. Everything All right. is delicious. Good. All right. Now here he is, everybody. If I had left him out, you would not believe the Yelp reviews he would have gave me. <laughs> this is yours. Okay. Okay. I mean, now I, this is a ten dollar gift card. Can I use this today? That I don't know. I okay. haven't even looked at them. I have no idea. I don't want okay. to get into the legalities. Right. I have enough trouble. What? That's right. Through. I'm not positive. I so, think so. I think so. All right. Um, how are you? A, you've had a busy day. Um, pretty good. Oh, we're taking a picture. Uh, oh, oh, hello. I'm looking at the cameras. There we go. Oh, you can't look at the monitor. You're I supposed know. to I'm look at that at camera. Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah, no, you. that one's. It's that one, Linda. Don't be giving me bad instructions. Okay. It's that one. Golly, dang, I got too many bosses here. All right. And then I'm going to have to do the speed limit on the way home. All no. right. No way. I am. I'm, ha I'm going to have Coco with the Popo. There you go. You want to go with me? That's okay. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. Anyway, you know, because I think, I don't know. Never mind. Let's skip it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I won't say anything you think inappropriate. They don't have butter? Uh, they might. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, they got muffins. Yeah, okay. <laughs> they got muffins. All right. What else is up with you, Kevin? Uh, not a lot. Just, what do uh, you think of the show here? I think it's great. Had yeah. a great crowd today. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I thought it was real good. Yep. Everybody was happy. People liked yep. the food. Robbie did a good job. Sit down, Debbie. Have a seat, Debbie. Yeah. Give here, Debbie a, a microphone. Here. Yep. I knew that's where she was headed. Oh, I knew go. it. Here we go. Here, here, here we go. Just how much you love your wife. That's what else you want to talk about. Well, that's yeah, right. Valentine's yeah. Day. Let's look at this. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I want to. Okay. All right. So what? <laughs> what did Kevin get Debbie for Valentine's Day? You're not gonna believe this. Oh, I, I'm up. I'm up for it. We went out to dinner. Okay. Not to Chick Fil A. No. Okay. No, better. Yeah. Better. Oh, better. There's better. No. Okay. Five guys. Five guys. Five guys. Yeah. For the peanuts. You went for the peanuts. Yeah. And then and then ate at home. Did right. take out. Oh, it was takeout. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you had to light the candles. Well, we had Pepsi with us. Oh, okay. So he couldn't okay. stay in the truck. Last year, we had Chick-fil-A. Okay. Yeah. So last Valentine's Day, it was Chick-fil-A. This yep. year, it was Five Guys. Okay. Next year, it's going to be Sunrise Restaurant. As long as you have a good year. As long as oh, you have a good it. year. They close it, too. No, so. we're going to get them to open just for okay. you. Yeah. And we're going to get somebody to play a CD of violin music. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And I'll broadcast live for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so well, what? I got a huge, giant Whitman sampler harp. No, kidding. Uh, to bring on Saturday and share with your friends? Yes. yes. All right. And, Kevin, what did you get for Valentine's Day? Uh, the uh, the company of my wife. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's who's that's I who's going to no pick idea. your nursing home. But yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's, yeah. I have to work. Yeah, All right. You See you, Debbie. I do want to say she is one of the best wait staff I've seen working here today. Yeah. All right. I guess that's it. Anything else? No, I'm good. Thank okay. You. Well, we're going to let you go. Have you uh, had a good time here today? I've had a good time here today. I got to figure out to remember. I guess I got to get a monitor up there somehow. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what to do. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe just a flashing light. That would mm -hmm. destroy your You attention. know what I did learn this week? What's that? See that little monitor? Yeah. Never grab them and hold them and carry them by the stand on the bottom. Because they're not attached. They're not attached. <laughs> exactly. And when they fall, they'll yeah. break. So. Is that a new one? <laughs> well, that's another yeah, one. That's a... It's another one. <laughs> I'm walking right along, and the thing falls right off. Oh, that's and I'm not like, good. Uh, I'm like, man, that's I wish that was a rubber driveway. <laughs> so i got to make sure I didn't miss anything. Have I missed anything? I don't, I don't think so. Sunrise Restaurant, Robbie, Guada, 
We've done. We've circled back. Cool. All right, 8.58. So um, we've had some phone calls. We haven't had many. We had one. I think the phone's broke. What do I do? I say it, and then I start talking? Okay. Yeah. And I move on. I'm sorry, everybody. If you tried to call me, I apologize. If you're watching, we'd love feedback, preferably positive feedback, okay? So, um, and if you could buy a trailer today, it'd be nice, all right? I think, I don't, I don't even think I've sold five trailers all week. But you could make 10. that up today. Oh, oh, we yeah. could have a 20 trailer day. No yeah. joke. So I mean, the, then you'd be good. I'd be good. Yeah. I, be good. I, I wouldn't be whining. <laughs> so I'm whining. I'm whining, whining. And you know what I do when I'm not selling stuff? I go out and buy something. Okay? Yeah. That's what that's, I do. That's not good. I know it. Yeah. But when, when I ain't selling, <laughs> I just got to get my fix. So I go buy something. So, all right. I got butter all over this. Um, microphone thing i got a whole case of these things we, uh, oh i hear we the have music we're out of town. Yeah, I, I still yeah. got a case of them from you well they're probably wore out because i, yeah. I what i do is i they, take they, starting they fluid dry rotted yeah. i take starting fluid and, rinse, and i let it evaporate so, hey thanks everybody for listening on the radio thanks lawrence for everything uh we'll be back next week that's a promise not a threat okay all right we're uh, we're winding down on tv del marva so if you want to talk to colin walls about buying some advertising it's 302-242-8015. Give him a call and talk to him. Thanks for watching the show. God bless you all. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you when? Next Saturday morning, 7 to 9. Goodbye. Oh, 54321. I'll see you. Goodbye. Good